it's been a month. It was it was it's mainly been a month. like it was mainly like going over what everyone was doing over the week. Yeah. Or the the month that we had the whatever however length of time of what everyone was doing during that time. We mm -hmm. made a As for boat. what happened after that, I'm not too entirely sure. Was it a boat or just a, a like a roof thing? To, what was the what's the scientific term? What there was Faraday's the cage. Faraday's cage. We made a Faraday. <laughs> oh, cage. that's we, right. Because we were attack. It wasn't a temple, but we were trying to. Uh, okay, to okay, temple. okay. <laughs> After some of our downtime, um, the those that subscribed subscribed to Paylor plus Corb, uh, traveled to Ronaligs old hometown uh the name of which it wasn't a town it was just an abbey Garage yeah doesn't subscribe to paylor he posted cringe <laughs> he lost uh, paylor <laughs> yeah uh went to the abbey the uh vicar named willem asked us hey there's some fucked up shit happening in the forest could you guys deal with it uh, so we sent a letter to those that were still in um, Thran, asking them to come down and join us. They came down. We went into the wilderness. Uh, there was lightning. We built a Faraday cage, uh, pushing past the lightning, and then faced a very fast snake man who served the Lord of Snakes? The Snake Lord. The Snake Lord. Um, distinction. So yes, we are now outside of a creepy ziggurat. Right? It's a ziggurat. Yeah. I think it was a ziggurat. Yeah. It's a ziggurat. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now we're outside of that, and there is a snake lord inside that's been fucking up the surrounding wilderness. There is the snake lord inside. A snake lord. Oh, uh, you get struck by lightning. You know what my name means. I'll be the uh, snake lord right. when this is done. Because we ended I'm up fucking up uh, uh, Riley's Dragon Ball Bridge character. The fastest yeah, snake. Yeah, it was Berta. <laughs> yeah, Berta. No one likes the blue snake guy. But everyone I, loves the blue snake the guy. The one it's you Berta. fucking made mid-session because the joke was funny for you? Yep. It's literally <laughs> exactly. You guys spent exactly enough time for me to pull a token together and get a stat block for him. You're such a fucker. Yeah, well, shouldn't have given me time to make it if you didn't oh, want no, time. Oh, no, that's a compliment. <laughs> oh, that was really? great, yeah. Interesting compliment. Anyway, uh, the storm overhead... I'm going to swap the music now, actually, because the Wizard's Tower by Tabletop Gaming... Piss. Hold on, gotta... Maybe this one. It's called Existential Dread. <laughs> It's just Wait, hold on. This for one's called hour. Cruising for Goblins. Hashtag related. Yeah! Alright, what do you guys do? <laughs> Where are the goblins at? Hey, yo. This is just. Yeah. Rot? Yeah. <laughs> this is just constantly playing out of Corb's armor. <laughs> Well, there's a door. Well, uh, maybe I should open it. M maybe we should let someone who's capable of checking it for malicious oh, devices. Oh no, I didn't. I so someone else should check it, and then maybe I can open it because I am big and full of muscle that takes a lot of time to burn through when you are killing. That's a good idea. Yes. I'm, the I'll person most capable of checking it would probably be Ronnelig. Ronnelig. Check it out. I'm specifically looking looking for uh, snake related gags, <laughs> holes in the walls that shoot out snakes. Uh, like maybe if you grab the doorknob and then the doorknob just like sloughs off like snake skin and it's poisonous snake skin. It's a doorknob of poisonousness. All right, uh, I roll. I believe I roll spot checks for you for this. Right. Uh, so uh, bonus? Nine. Nine. All right. Uh, you, yeah, you lick the doorknob as is your want. Uh, and you <laughs> I do just all said of I was worried about the. I just said I was <laughs> worried about the doorknob being poisonous. 
Yeah. And you we die because the poison. You checked, obviously. Come yeah, on. that's how you check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> check you poison. Check, yeah, you detect no, uh, no proof, no proof of tampering. Been a little lick. All right, it's safe. And All I right. Take... Ten steps yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. That really feels like a, I want to see Gerard get hit by this strap. All right, I am right, opening so the door. The door. Yes. All right. Uh, give me. Just like a giant snake monster right behind it. No, that would be stupid. <laughs> I didn't want to say it like that. It's a giant snake monster. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> the door, you see what look like a humanoid figure with the tail of a snake and the head of a snake and the arms. It's really not a humanoid figure now that I'm looking at it. It's a snake with human arms. A snake with arms. Big sword. What do you do? It notices you instantly when you open the door and it lets out a loud, angry hiss. It sounds like a, <sighs> but louder and angrier, and a hiss, and it starts slithering fucking right at you. Yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Slithering the description at you. of the hiss. I'm. Oh. Okay. Oh man, the snake are, is gonna bite you, Gerard. Are we just supposed to roll for initiative? Oh fucking no! Do you close the door or what? I open no, the door. See snake and me. Close the door. All right, yeah, roll initiative. George gonna, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> God, I love starting sessions with bullshit. Wow. Ooh, that's a good initiative. Oh! Oh, that. Gerard, famously the fastest of the group. Wow! Oh, okay. wow! Cool. We got the dub one. It's a, it's a race. It's a race with between uh, Siegfried and uh, Gerard. Hey, hey, bro! What's your uh, uh, dex bonus? A dex bonus is. Give me a second here. It's like negative twelve. My dex is a plus four. Or no, it's a negative three. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's sorry, like it is a you. four. Yeah, you go. Hold on. Four, that right? also means that you got a negative three on initiative, not a one. Hold on. Yeah, you got a I, negative two. I just rolled that extra one to put the number on. I'm changing right, it right. back to one. Okay. But, uh, wow. That's do you have rough. No, do you have no dex bonus, Pat? Yeah, no. Yeah, so Siegfried gets a negative 2 on initiative, Ronalig gets a 25.07. Ronalig, you are the first to respond to this. He's funny. That's... we have four 20s and then two single digits. Uh, four 20s! Are we? Got a four. Uh, oh yeah, we, we need to add Jack in there as well. I'm in. Oh. I'm in. I but you're out of order. I That's yeah, I'm out of the right, right order, but I'm in. So Snake yeah, player. Oh. Uh, why is the combat there? It is. There it is. It happened. Snake Slayer's got a good ring to it, and I try to shoot him. All right, he's flat-footed. His feet are flat as hell. His feet. Does he get an AC bonus? Because. Gerard's in front of me, or am I able to aim over Gerard's head? Tall enough. You're tall enough. It's huge. Heck yeah. Also, this is a fairly big. Oh you right, uh, it's also like a like a Gerard's head as a snake. I should have been It's also like a 15 foot long snake. Uh, so Ooh. it's got like like six feet coiled as its base, and then nine feet straight up. It is a big dude. I was going to say uh, 20 to hit. 20. Uh, hold on. Use Gerard as a tripod. Did I mention this one's weapon? Don't That's talk about Gerard. It looks tripod. like a sword. Well, yeah, I just wanted to know if specifically because the stat block has two ACs and two weapons, and I just forgot to note down. Uh, but a 20 does hit regardless. This one's holding just one big sword. And you said he's flat footed? Oh, he's hella flat footed, my boy. Wow, that's a got no feet! Meh, roll. Yeah. Uh, 16, ah! 17, 19 points of piercing damage. Alright, you do 19 points of piercing damage, and the snake is perturbed. That's my turn. Alright, the snake's gonna fucking kick your ass, Ronald Egg. Hello. Yeah. It's me, you have a friend in the way. Just kidding, he has 10 feet of reach, he hits you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is he large? Is he size large? He's large, yeah. 
motherfucker. I like to think Gerard ducks like an inch just for the blade to go. <laughs> uh, that yeah, that I is. Yeah, he's going to be using his masterwork falchion, which is a twenty-five to yeah. hit. Yeah. All right. Uh Come on. That's not a lot of damage. Yeah. Falchion. What's his crit range? That's oh, interesting. 16. It doesn't specify. Got him. Good. That's weird. Uh, anyway, are scimitars that have the ridiculous crit range. I... Uh, Falchions are just big scimitars, so both. Both. Uh oh, that's why. Okay. Uh piss. So I rolled the wrong dice. One second. I'm sorry. It's been a I'm minute. It's been a minute. It's no, a two d four damage die, so it's really rough to work with. Uh, that is nine slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and you see him bare his fangs and he hisses at you like a snake would. <laughs> As he, like, kind of flops. You know that that video of the python opening the door and then just down? That's yeah. like, kind of what he does to hit you. He raises the sword, faints at Gerard, and then slams down on his belly and slashes at your side and then gets back up. This dude is all abs. That was yeah. pretty cool. Not this gonna lie. In the video. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little flimmy. Yeah. Am I coming through? Yes, yep, you yep. are. Yes. All right. I just wanted to double check because I said a joke earlier and no one got mad at me for it. Oh, what was the joke? There's still time. Uh, can't be much of a snake with six feet coiled under it. <laughs> <laughs> so the lightning strikes Finn. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm moving to here. I assume it gets an attack of opportunity because rage. Oh, hell yeah, thank you. What the fuck is that spell? Oh, that's a 23! Oh, it is not, it's a 24! Yeah, that hits. Yeah. You know what's funnier than 24? 25. And that is 11 points of slashing damage from the Yuan T. Abinashinen. Right, I'm gonna fucking axe him back. Alright. You may try. But success is no guarantee against the might of the Snake Lord. Not flanking. No additional attack bonus. But yeah, 27 the, hits. The Snake Lord? There's no way this is the Snake Lord. Yeah, the, the 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 ziggurat is one room with one snake, and that snake is the snake lord. That is it. Uh, Twenty-seven does wicked hit. Twelve damage. Uh, you said that like it's a crazy amount of damage. Oh, yeah. Sick. Uh, Eleven magical slashing and uh, one fire. All right, uh, this guy does not have... Or magical bludgeoning. No, this is with the... Oh, this is with the maul. I thought it was with your axe. Nah, but You uh, don't have... No, that's a cold anymore. axe. All right, uh, you do that much damage to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's my turn. Yeah, also I should note it's jacked as hell. It's fucking shredded. Uh, lore. Hang on, I spent most of that time looking at a spell that I just realized will not work on this guy because it's five hit dice or lower. You don't know how many uh, hit dice this guy has. Judging by the fact he's not dead yet, probably more than five. Maybe twelves. Mm, Maybe he's possibly. Um, also, I don't know if it would work on him anyway because it requires a person as the target. Fast racist. Well, you don't. There's so many different monster definition types. Like whole person doesn't work on anything that's not a humanoid. Let let Ian make his deductions rather than having a long argument in the middle of combat. I, I am no. currently trying to Please find. Can we not discuss what fantasy racism is? That that conversation will hurt. I give him just. Where the fuck is R? Racist would there say. There we go. I'm sorry. Did you just lose the? Lose track yeah, of I lost the keyboard. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to cast Magic Missile at him. Fair enough. I think it's five missiles. 
Wizard looks through spellbook, gives up magic missile. It is four. Okay. Four missiles, so four D four plus four. I'm just gonna do that in here. I need you to make a caster level check, please. Oh, it's got spell resistance. Wonderful. I need you to make a caster level check. Uh, <laughs> that is an 18 plus caster level, which I believe is five. All right, so that does make it so the magic missile does hit. You see it kind of ignores I... the spell up until all five of the missiles start to bore into its snake body. Yeah, I get four missiles, but the caster level... Because... I get four missiles for being an eighth level character, but my caster level is five. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, Jacques. Okay. Um, I... Uh, Jacques oh, is... Right now. It's okay. Sorry, I'm just, I'm having a hard time. Who, who's, who's this person? Who's what person? You uh, mean the token up there? Or... That's Corb. Corb, thank you. Sorry, I just, I had forgotten. Corb, your Corb. hobgoblin friend who should be in initiative, but, uh... He's just chilling. Uh, 14? Yeah, whatever. He's just chilling. He's learning. He yeah. moved up to here on his turn. It happens. Um, yeah, I think, uh... At the moment, oh, I can, I can, here we go, I can go through people, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And I think Jacques is going to do an attack with his spiked chain, holy spike chain. All right, give me an attack roll. <laughs> Nine plus. Oh, twenty or twenty. Twenty-one total. The twenty-one does hit. <clears throat> Woo. All right, that's gonna be a D six. Uh, also, it is evil. It's just so very evil. It's so very evil. It's an evil snake man. An evil snake guy. An evil snake man. We got the 2d6, another d6. So if... So we got a total of... 5 regular damage. So 5, mm -hmm. uh... Piercing damage. And 9, uh... Holy damage. The, like, radiant damage, or whatever it's counted as. Uh, yes. All right, the, 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 the snakeman is on its last leg, figuratively, because literally it's on its tail. Uh, anything else, Jacques? Uh, okay. you move, you back, that's kind of it. Gerard. Yeah, it. It's on the tail uh, end of its life total. Boo. <laughs> what? Oh, he gets a boo, all right. What to even do in this? Can't move anywhere. <laughs> I guess I'll be <laughs> Can't this go over it. Can't I think melee is like the only yeah, the only thing the the <laughs> icicle. <laughs> bubba da bubba da. Alright, uh, gimme Would you like to attack? Yes. Alright. Uh, you may. I am allowing you to play the game. <laughs> Aren't you grateful? I am so grateful, yes, yes. Shut up. Oh, dear God! Oh. <laughs> All right. Da, 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 da. Uh, I, need to, <laughs> I need to double check the crit for a sickle, because it might be triple or roll, some shit. Roll to confirm. Yeah, yeah, roll to confirm. Oh, right. Fuck me. I believe in you. It's 23, so that's pretty a good. A 23 confirms, so you do crit? Uh, what's the What's the crit rate on a sickle? I don't know. It's just times two. Oh, okay. Um, so roll twice as many dice and add twice your modifier. I, I, I if I is if I remember with a d6 cold and a d6 slash. Uh yes, but you do not multiply the d6 cold. 
Okay. Do you not got this shit written down? I do, but I don't have where it's written. So roll 2d6 slashing yeah. and a d6 piercing, and then add double your strength modifier. 2d6. You double mods on a crit. Oh, sweet <laughs> god! <laughs> There's and the 2d6 oh. slashing. And then the d6 cold. Oh, god damn it. d6 cold. Come on, Pat. The fucking... Wait, why doesn't it rec... Is it sl oh, okay. That makes me feel... Okay. There's a d6 gold. And then... And then double your strength mod. It's plus two strength mod. Yes, so that would be plus four. That's... Seven... 21. 21. That's a lot of damage from just a sickle smack. Man. Yeah, so after the uh, Jacques comes in and like just pierces through its snake body with his whip uh, and you see it start to sizzle and burn from the holy energy and then you take advantage of that and you just dig the sickle into its sternum which is really high up because it's a tall snake man and you just rend it open and it just <laughs> out. Can but it's I really just... cold. It's sushis and sashimis. Oh, can I just say how goofy the fight is that Gerard walks in the door, everybody fights around him, and then he just... <laughs> uh, and then, uh, <laughs> got him. Uh, Don't mind me, guys. I'll just stay back here. And thus you have killed a snake man. That's well, Allow really me to calculate easy. experience. What level are you guys? Eight? Eight? I think it's eight. I almost said seven. Uh, 1600 XP to the lot of you. That's more than I expected. Damn. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. good. <laughs> hey. so it's th 300 a piece, right? Divided by s two, four, six. six. There's six of us? Yeah. Oh, wait, 1, no. 1600. 1600. It's. Two six six. Two hundred sixty six. Yeah. Okay. We got four hundred and eighty eight away from getting to three thousand. Or yeah, three thousand thirty thousand. Is that supposed to be my flame sphere? Oh, uh, yeah, that's your flame sphere. Okay, we'll just pretend it doesn't exist right now, I guess. Or you can just delete it and drag it out when you need it. What's the total we're at? You're different six, for six everybody. Per person. I think a couple a couple people should be the same. I think the yeah. only person that's different is Rama. I'm at 2, 9, 5, and lore. Oh, and lore, right. <laughs> that's what I'm at. I, I have not gotten a clear answer because every time someone says a number, someone else talks over them. Are you looking? Total. I, I'm. I am at twenty nine thousand two hundred forty five. How much did we get for this fight? Two hundred and sixty six per person. Thank you, Pat. No problem. Uh, <clears throat> this room is lit by a number of just old smoking torch sconces. Uh, the light is fairly dim. It seems that these Sneeple do not necessarily <laughs> need it in order to operate, but they just have it kind of for the ambiance. Uh, you see three doors, two... Sorry, one on the east wall, one on the west wall, one in the south wall. Uh, they are all of a fairly sturdy wooden build. Uh, it seems that this room that you all fought in was a simple foyer meant to acclimate one from the outside to within the ziggurat. The floor is a different material, uh, wood rather than the carefully cared for flagstone, or rather previously carefully cared for flagstone. Uh, it seems that... As snakes, they don't necessarily need the most sturdy of floor, but with how they're snakes, 
You also um, see two statues here in these recesses previously, presumably to whatever gods this ziggurat was dedicated to, but now they've been smashed to bits and replaced with crude facsimiles of a humanoid figure bearing a reptilian tail and two slitted eyes. Like snake slitted eyes. It's, it's a snake. <laughs> These are supposed to be pillars, right? These. Uh, oh no, sorry. Those are shallow uh, brass basins. Okay, gotcha. From the destroyed bits of stonework, am I able to piece together what deity the ziggurat might have once served? Give me a religion knowledge check. Uh, 15. No. Uh, you go over to it, and you try and, like, puzzle piece it back together, but it does not seem obvious to you. There's no, like, there's no mace indicating it was Cuthbert. There's no sunbeams indicating it was Paylor. No hammer indicating it was Moridan. Nothing immediate you can find. Uh, and it seems that these statues were thoroughly defiled. Okay. Well, I check this next door. All right, uh, your spot plus check nine. is plus nine. Uh, you don't notice anything on the door, but you do hear voices beyond it speaking in an, a foreign tongue that seems to be mostly hissing. It sounds like parcel tongue from Harry Potter for some reason. <laughs> One might there's almost any... assume that it was some snakes talking to each other. Does anyone know snake language? No. Hard nope. negative. I don't think any of us speak snake. You want to try other room first? For sneaky? Or you know? I think we should just burst in there. I mean, let's be honest. They took over the ziggurat. They are killing the land they made a giant lightning storm to keep people out i don't think this is going to be a you know reasoning kind of day i'm in agreement all right time is, for is the... the is the door locked gerard's gonna do a little little fiddle with the handle just the oh it's wicked one. not locked okay Kick it dwarf down. breach dwarf breach all right, I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative immediately. Uh, uh yeah. But on the bright side, uh, you guys get a surprise round because you did straight up just kick in the door, uh, to see a more human-looking person and then two very clearly not human-looking people. Uh, Those let people me... with snake heads. No, well, one of them might because it's random, but the only art for them shows them with snake heads. So. Well, I was a, a, about yeah. to get that. Uh, one of them has... Uh, yeah, this one up here doesn't have arms, but does have snakes. Instead Wait, of arms. Like snake arm? Oh, boy. Nope, does... nope, it's in, no, no arms, no hands. At his shoulders, two snakes. <laughs> Do, is his head like a normal head human? Is a human head. <laughs> got a human face. He's just human, got two snake human arms. Human face with two snakes. <laughs> I uh, rolled the wrong thing, and then the other one, uh... Well, that's hard to tell. It just looks like a dude. <laughs> but he's a little wiggly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Very funny that all of the art shows them with snake heads, but there is a one in six chance of them having a snake head, and an equal chance of him having snakes for arms, which is a cooler thing! Uh, give me one second to pull the initiative tokens up. Add turn, eh, eh, eh. add turn, eh. uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, initiative. Where the oh, with the huh, the huh, the huh. Oh my God, they have plus five to initiative. They all have improved initiative, no deck score. A little bit. Huh. Kind of wild. All right. Uh, so. Surprise round, you have a partial action. You may either move or attack once. Uh... 
I don't know if Ronalig is in a position to see any of them. No, you can't see. He'll probably just move because they can't opportunity they... attack yet, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, and they are so... flat-footed until they first act, so you get another turn of them being flat-footed, basically. Yeah. Go stab some people. Oh. <laughs> stab the dude with snake arms. He's got snake. He's obviously. He's got three heads. I'm gonna schmoove over to there, and that's my go. All right, Finn. Partial action. Hello. 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 We can hear you now. I'm here. That's my partial action. All right, moving up to there. Lore, partial action. That's like one standard or one move action? Uh, yes, you might either, yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I had something that I thought I was going to do and then realized it's an absolutely terrible idea. So no Good lightning anyway. bolt. Lightning <laughs> bolt Finn? What? That... Hold on, why were you... I, w I wouldn't be able There's to line that up anyway. There's one of them. Yep. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... Takes a round to appear. I might as well do it now. Uh, I'm gonna summon a monster. That is a full round action. You have one it partial is? action. I thought it, I thought it was a sing single action spell. Uh, My I bad. It's a full round action. Yeah, and that's why it comes up at the top of your next turn because that's the full six seconds of you casting. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, ah, uh, jeez, I can't get where I want to go. Uh, that was That's interesting. Not... So it looks like the rules for partial actions specify either moving your full speed or attacking. I don't know if spells are an option. Looking at this again. Gotcha. Um. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna. Let me see if I can find. I the can't get anywhere possibly. helpful. So Lore's just gonna move five feet closer, and that's it. All right. That brings us to Jacques Lepin du Dissolé. Whoa. Page 121. All right. Jacques can move 20 feet. Would going into Patrick Square incur anything? No, I think you can just move through friendly spaces. I'm yeah. pretty sure you're just good, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to sit myself right there. Pretty, uh, pretty fucking schmeaty spot. And then, uh, while I can't reach the person to my top left or right, I can thwack uh, good old, good old, good old, good old boy in the south. Let's hit him you once. cannot attack if you moved because you only have a partial action. Right, partial. Sorry, I forgot it was partial. That's the turn. Uh, there, nothing, Gerard. It's your partial turn. Is a five foot step a partial action? It is part of a partial action. So you could five foot step then attack. Just reading okay. through. Because it's a partial action is specifically your turn minus movement, basically. Gotcha. And would it be all right to diagonally five foot step or? Yeah, the your first diagonal. Out? Your first diagonal is five feet, and it's uh, you're good. All right, then Gerard is gonna go ahead and go for a quick you step with this one too. To melee. You know, Gerard's not in the flirting room mood today. Uh, <laughs> not feeling like harassing any poor snake lady. Yet. All right. Yes. Okay. okay. Good to know. Glad that okay. I. I'm glad I brought it up. Glad we sorted it out. Yeah. Uh, twenty-one 21? wicked hits. Wicked hits. Yeah. All you right. see, uh, this snake person is carrying a. Not shield. No. Yes. Uh, carrying a large wooden shield. Uh, just like a typical kite shield and a scimitar. But okay. she was, like, leaning up against this pillar here when you barged in and now are stabbing her. Gotcha. That'll be two slashing damage and four cold damage? I believe it would be four slashing damage because your strength. Excuse me, that would be six... or four slashing damage and four cold... I rolled a two, then a four. Yes. See... Okay. Yeah, no, I see I see what's going on. So a four, four, four. Uh, yeah, she is hurting, but it doesn't it doesn't look like cold has any particular effects even on the snake people. Ooh. 
Uh What a dwarf. Wait, did, did you mean it seems like there's no effect or Or sorry, no like extra effect. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry, I forgot what Lord did on his turn, Ian. Did Lord you move five feet. Oh, okay. Oh okay. him. There was uh, no more space where I wanted to go. Fair enough. Uh Siegfried. 5, 10, 15, and 20. That's my move. That's uh, that my would be 25, because your second diagonal is, that is 10 feet. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be right there. All right, gotcha. And now back to the top of the order. The surprise round has been completed. Ronalig, dude, still flat-footed, <laughs> and you can flank him. Did Evan freeze, or is he just holding really still? Oh, there he is. Uh, yep, he was just holding still. Snake time. Snake murder time. time. It's nine. Flanking twenty six to hit. Uh, as you go up to him, I believe he gets an opportunity attack. Uh, yeah, he's got one reach. Of... No, because you moved into a threatened space. Oh, did I choose a bad path to take to him? Yeah. No, moving into a threatened space always provokes. Oh, I thought it was if you moved from a threatened space to another threatened space. No. Moving, moving from anywhere to a threatened space. Yeah. Oh. In five E, it's exiting a threatened space. So no, no, step, no. So That's stepping up I'm to saying. somebody, oh, stepping okay. up to somebody gets you hit. I believe so. Hold I on. Didn't... Hold hey, on. I'm... Now I'm now I'm confusing myself. Shit. I'm I'm pretty sure it's one threatened space to another threatened space, because yeah, I, actually, I don't yeah, I don't remember on. getting attacked yeah. just for approaching the enemy. Yeah. 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 I, I, I thought it was super. I thought it was moving out of any threatened space. That's not the direction. Not directly away from the person. No, moving moving out isn't So uh, no. what what I meant by that is that by moving you are in one threatened space here and you're moving out of it to another threatened space, but because you didn't move directly away from him he gets an attack of opportunity. I thought that, that too, because that's how Jacques has moved. hit multiple times. There's been things where they'd pass me and I'd be making attacks because they were passing me. Yes, sorry. If you move within or out of a threatened area, so my B, sorry. So if Ronald was to go, uh, that's the wrong tool. Give me the thing. I like, started start like here. So yeah, if I did this. Yeah. Okay. May I do that? Is yes, you may. That? Okay, nah. Thanks. It's been a month since we've played this edition. Whatever. I'll 26. Right yeah, 26 wicked hits. All right. 9, 11, 17, 21, 25. 9, 11. 27 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Alright, you just go in for a stab, and you super fuck him up. Uh, his snake arms thrash like he's a cartoon character, and he turns to look at you, and he just goes, Why? Finn, it's your turn. <laughs> and now from the other side, <laughs> Finn. Yeah, just a fucking. I'm flanking. Get Snake um, Arms McGee. Act bonus. Is that the 22 and a 24 to hit? Uh, the 24 hits. And you might kill him in one hit, so save the rest of those and we'll see. Alright. Fifteen damage does kill this one. The the snakes uh, curl up like the legs of the Wicked Witch of the East, uh, and the the dude, the otherwise normal man, just kind of collapses to the ground. Uh, um, since that was one attack, you can still do your full move. I, I'm here now. You are there now. This man, this apparently normal man. <laughs> Actually, I will move around so that my friends will have a chance to flank. And all right, and that him. will provoke an opportunity attack. Yeah, that's uh, fine. All right, he, him and his normal man hands are going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm almost sad we didn't get to see Snake Arms Man attack us. <laughs> normal, normal man hands sounds like the uh, name of a Metal Gear character. <laughs> normal man hands. 25 to hit. Norman 25 man hand. Hit. Uh, for man. seven slashing damage as he brings his scimitar across your leg as you try and bypass him. Man, and I mean, man. you do bypass him. It does work. Alright. I'm not even at half health yet. 
Oh, well. Fucking good for you, Mr. Lots of Health. Lore. Uh, Look at Mr. Dave Johnson. 15 feet in here. And, uh... I have, like, nothing that contributes to the fight against a bunch of small people. Um... I'll just magic missile this person. All right. Roll a caster level check. <sighs> Fuck. That was a nat one. All right. Her, you see her normal, like her human body is human. Uh, but as this spell is being cast, it starts to shimmer weirdly. And you see that there's actually a fine layer of scales on her flesh. Uh, and the spell just kind of binks against it and doesn't seem to have any effect. She bears her teeth, which, you know, one would expect to be fangs, but they're just normal human teeth. Laura's just gonna look, like, incredibly disappointed and just do nothing else. Fair enough. Uh, Jacques Le Pedou de Soleil. Mm, yes. Uh, flanking wouldn't work unless I actively walk forward, right? Unless you actively walked to... Oh, yes. Um... Hold on. I know I got reached. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty certain flanking only works if I'm five feet, within five feet of the um, other person south of me. That sounds right. And I will double check. So just do the attack roll, and if it matters, I will check. Okay, uh, another another question, just because it's, this is more, uh, right now way more important. Uh, five foot step, does that. Ca can I still do two attacks if I do a five foot yes. step? Yes. Alright, cool. Then in the end, it don't matter. Uh, we're going to do right. the first attack. Shoosh. 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 All right, we got Shoosh. another 21. 21 definitely hits this dude. This normal man. <laughs> With what is supposed to be an obvious snake feature. Uh, I'll tell you when he dies if it doesn't come up. All right, 10 but... piercing damage with an extra 4 holy damage. All right. Uh, you do that amount of damage to cool. him. Cool, I hit and him he's again. Like, oh man, oh man, uh, you can do it again. Uh, not again. Just a normal man. Just a normal man. Jeez, Rick. Huh? Fourteen for the second attack. Uh, that's plus flanking. Oh shit! What's the bonus for plus flanking? Two. Two. Then that is a sixteen. Sixteen hits. Woo! Let's do this again. You see his torso, like, shifts all to one side to try and dodge it, but the whip just fucking curls around and hits him anyway. Yeah, that flanking that, move. That's his fake feature. He's got a flexible torso. That will be five piercing damage with a total of... Uh, uh, b -b -b nine holy damage. All right, he is... Trembling in fear at the holy might of Paylor. Yeah. Uh, just kidding. No, he's not. He's going to hit you back <gasps> with his normal human arms. <laughs> hit me with your human arms. Do it. Hit me. Uh, he has a... <laughs> he's a really nice scimitar that he's about to use against you twice. That is a 23 to hit? Yeah. Uh, for four damage. And his <gasps> second attack is a 21 to hit. That one also hits. For seven slashing damage. Uh, so he just kind of ignores Finn walking behind him. He's like, that's not my job. I'm only supposed to guard this room. It doesn't matter if someone goes into another one. Uh, and he hits Jacques twice and seems very proud of himself and then very scared when he realizes that Jacques hasn't died yet. Uh, Gerard. Yes, it is time for me to... Oh my goodness, I'm surrounded. Uh... I guess also, I will I'm just going... melee. Yeah, I'm going to reveal uh, down this hallway. Whoops. No, I'm not, because I did it wrong. I don't think... Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me attack roll. Thirteen. Thirteen does not... Believe does... it or not. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Um... Yeah, I don't, this is not really, hmm. Yeah, I think Gerard just kind of has to stay there. Damn. Fair enough. Rough. Uh, it is now a uh, normal, totally normal human woman's turn. Uh, and she is going to hit, also with a scimitar, with a, with a, with it, she's going to hit you. Wow, she has no bonuses. This is funny. 
Uh, that is just a straight up 20 to hit. That, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, and you take a single point of slashing damage. What? what? Yeah, she does not get a bonus to damage. Are they okay? Nope, she's weak as fuck. Oh! She's, uh... You did, in fact, sneak up on her. She was not prepped. Siegfried! Alright, um... How, uh, I apologize, how fucked up is, is normal lady looking? Uh, oh shit, can you not see their health bars? No. no. Nope, not no. an ounce. Oh, piss. How about now? Okay. Uh, yeah. Lady can. I can well, I can, I can see lady. Yeah. Uh, she's not, I mean, she's been hit once, All but right. she also yeah, does I'll... not seem to have the fortitude of, say, Gerard. Yeah, uh, this I'll guy is super it. fucked, though. I will walk five hundred. Oh, okay. Look. Shit. I did that wrong. I apologize. No, it's okay. Just death instantly. Well, why a point? For... Why I throw my PC through a wall? So did you? Is that just supposed to be a fifteen and plus fourteen? Yes. Yeah. So that hits. Twenty-nine. Sorry. Yeah, twenty-nine very comfortably hits this person who carries. How is her arm? She's wearing leather armor and is holding a wooden shield. <laughs> oh, she has Whack her for sixteen. Ooh, yeah. Uh, she's still alive, but you just like got one of her arms entirely off of her body. Uh, and then pl with the plus one damage modifier for the great sword for the wounding great sword. Uh, yes, she is wounded. Uh, and then yeah, I will whack her arm. again. Well, well, then attempt to whack her again. Really matter. Yeah, twenty four hits. Twenty four. Your minimum damage is what twelve. So twenty. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you kill. You kill her, and she's dead now. And that's my turn. All right. Uh, Ronalig. There is one snake person remaining, and it looks like a normal dude, <laughs> minus the fact that he just wiggled his whole torso. What do you do? Because of this pillar... Oh, I don't know. I can just... Yeah. I'll just do that. 25 feet of movement. 15 to hit. Fifteen just barely misses. He contorts his torso and just out of the way. <laughs> All right, that's my go. All right, Finn. Gonna hammer. All right. Thinking yes. No additional attack bonus. All right, that's a seventeen and an eighteen to hit. Seventeen hits. And the 18 also hits. Because of, you know, math. Stop dodging my attacks, you freak. You're a freak! Uh, with, freak. yeah, 16 damage does kill it in one hit. Uh, as you bring your hammer in a horizontal sweep, he tries to move his torso out of the way, because he's a snake man. Uh, but it just moves it to be hit a little later. Uh, and he dies. I've just been imagining this guy acting like a pillarman. Yeah, he's like Santana contorting his body to avoid yeah, being Yeah, weird, weird poses, weird clothes, the works. You um, know, I, uh... Uh, after getting beat up so many times, it feels really weird to just kill the shit out of... Just do uh, the beating up. enemies, yeah. Huh. Brown thing. Refle refreshing. Like, I just stabbed them and, and yeah. Feels good, man. Was weird. Something about this. Jarred uh, kicks the related. woman's body just to make sure it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it ragdolls like a fucking Souls game. Okay, I think it's, uh, yeah, huh. Okay. They're, yeah, they're dead. Huh. Huh. Weird. Do we want to go back and check those little side rooms or continue uh, on? I feel like yes. I don't know. Yeah, so there's these two side rooms that you didn't explore. There is one set of double wooden doors right here, uh, and then a hallway wrapping 
somewhere uh, that seems to dip to the south and also another set of wooden doors. Well, I think we should go back to the beginning. Clean sweep at the start. Last thing we want is people sneaking up on us from behind. Yeah. I just realized that the tooltip being visible to you guys would be useful for this, because I can just label if they're all snake or whatever. And it won't be a fucking spoiler that this one's a werewolf. God, uh, my God. Damn you. <laughs> yeah, this a one's werewolf? a werewolf. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Uh, Rondelig. Yes. Plus max spot. Are you spotting? No, I'm opening. All right. It, 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 it's full of snakes, and you get killed by snakes. Ah! That's uh, always how it goes, isn't it? It's a snake closet. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, you find Harrison Ford. <laughs> and you find his skeleton snakes. in a closet full of snakes. Yo! <laughs> uh, almost, you find a normal closet with no skeletons to be spoken of. It appears to be a regular storage closet. What about snakes? No yeah, I was gonna oh, say, there's, just Well, snakes. there's snakes all over the floor here. Oh. I should have noticed that. There's a snake a bunch closet. Of no, I mean like the whole place. It's all snake floor. Oh. Snore. Like, it's a really low snake density, I guess, but it's like a relatively high snake density. Is that a, is that a normal wait, snake density? density? Wait, you just said it was low snake density. Wait, what were the words? It's, I'm <laughs> so it's high snake density, like, for a floor to have snakes, but low snake density considering how many snakes there could be. Okay. It's like okay, okay. Density. So yeah, that makes me so. My brain snakes. just like how added, many? I thought I oh. It's also how many chest up north? How many snakes per square That's, foot? I'm uh, snakes per square foot like three. Why Average is that chest snakes. down the lawn the hallway? <laughs> per I square foot. <laughs> yeah. Jesus like squared snake. Jesus small Christ. Snake. Maybe one big snake or a couple small snakes. Gerard throws a rock. What unit is a chest. snake? It, the rock hits the chest. A snake and is a snake! <laughs> the rock hits the chest and clatters to the ground. I don't trust the chest. Why do you have it down the hallway like that? Who stores things like that? I stab mm -hmm. this nest. It's a regular wooden chest with a lock. I think it's fine, Gerard. Okay. We're gonna try to pick Pick the lock. Uh, give me a the locks a mimic. <laughs> give me a give me a snake check. Give me an open lock check. Yeah, roll for snake. I'll I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll a d twenty. Snake. Snake. D one hundred. If it's one hundred, it's full of snakes. Shit! Know. It's all snakes. Fifteen plus fifteen for my lock pick. So for 30, my open no. lock. So, f oh, you roll open lock, I believe. Oh, okay. It's disabled device that I roll. 26. Oh, wicked 26. Yeah, you pop it open like child's play and it's filled with silver. Yo. Yeah. That piece of silver. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Do we want to one just put that in the one. bag and deal with it later? What do you mean deal with? Like, take Divide it, it up. because it's money? Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, yeah, sure. Divide it between us. Sure, Gerard and I work together to tip it over as Lore holds the bag open, and we just... Yeah, you pour 8,000 pieces of silver. That's should, a lot. Should I, just, should I just add this to the party funds? I, he's pulled out his notebook that he uses to record everything that he puts in the Yeah, in the he bag. pulls out his checkbook. Effectively. Do we want to just add this to the group funds? Money is um, always fun. Got them. I'm actually low on personal cash. Well, I am too. Yes, uh, I'll just I'll note it separately. No, no, just mind. Add... no oh, yeah. it isn't. Doesn't it not matter? Because you can just take from group fund for personal expenses. I would rather not do that because it seems like a terrible thing for me to do. Um, you know, what? I'll just note it down and we can divide it up later. Like we each get a thousand and we put two thousand into the group party fund or something. Yeah, like the that. group the group fund is mostly like life insurance. You know, we all collectively chip in a little. So, if what is insurance? Somebody dies. We all chip in a little bit, or we take. You know, we have that little bit taken out of our. 
of play for them Check. to get resurrected? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was just double checking, because if you said funeral, someone was going to get stabbed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's like 160 pounds of coin. To the other hallway. Why is Riley rolling so much? Stop inventing new enemies on the fly. No! Stop, stop, stop adding more snakes. Stop statting out all of Ginyu Force. It's a, it's a snap, a snake trap. Uh, on, ah! You spot this door. A snake is its own trap. Uh, it no, trait? I'm just opening it. All right, I don't you find... These snakes are traps. I think. No, I'm... no, this is such bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna it's stab the treasure chest again. <laughs> it is a normal treasure chest again. Who stored fuck. it? <laughs> Who does this? Does it, is it locked? Uh, yeah. What kind of sick fuck stores Why things is... like this? Thirty-two. Why is all their money so close you, to the you, end? You instantly Why is it at the end open? of a hallway? Well, is that too. Cost money. It's full of silver. Who yeah, we probably should have checked it. You're right. Who put storage at the end of a hallway? It's full is of it eight thousand it... silver pieces exactly. Let me just add that to the other one. Why would they do this? It's yeah. Because they hate people. Why would they? I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. Does someone like detect magic? Or you know what? Lore's gonna magic. cast detect magic on the silver. All right. Uh, you hover over the silver and it does not appear to be magical. I'm just gonna sweep the rest of the room with the remainder of the spell. Well, Molly's got it. So Check the silver fire. we got in the other room. Lore pulls out a piece. Checks I think it. Riley's shaking his head. Nope. Well, Riley. it's not magic. Um, I'm gonna come back into this room and I'm gonna inspect both sides of the room, especially those statues. Is there like one statue that has evil red eyes. <laughs> you know, like, is there any significant difference a, between these two statues? Church. Yeah, I was I was also out. I never went in. Would I, can I 17. be, like, looking Are at these Are you looking statues? for secret doors or something? I'm trying to figure out if it's strange to me that both sides are perfectly identical. I'm trying to figure out if... Oh. There's some indication amongst the statues if one side is bad and one side is good. It's if a 17. Very it's good really point. too late. Um, it, on a yeah. 17, they... Oh, God, a goblin! <laughs> you kill him. Uh, they, they appear functionally identical, but not exactly identical. Uh, so it was like the same statue, as far as you can tell, but they were like defiled in different ways, oh. and the new statue that's been put up has differences between the two. Oh, thank goodness. I thought there may have been a not, space not in one like, way. Not in form, per se, but in, like, they were just made by different people, or yeah. by the same person at different or even, times. Yeah, and it just, yeah. Uh, I would like to... I would like to... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Lore, uh, can, I, can I see one of the silver pieces that we got yeah um right. uh, he's gonna not entirely it. sure just in case that has some sort of significance uh he's gonna try to leave the room he's gonna start walking and see if he can leave the room just in case there's some weird trap going on with these thingies and they won't let me leave, leave the room with the treasure uh, sure nothing yet i mean i haven't stopped you oh, he just takes all the money and he's like i'm just gonna make sure it's not cursed. It's back in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shamak runs away with 16,000 <laughs> silver. silver. I picked up one piece. <laughs> no, I need to make sure all of it's not cursed, because if one piece is cursed, we're all fucked. Might as all well right. just spend the next three days taking one piece out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to stop you. What about these... What about these dressers? Right, it, was it a... Uh, not a dresser, but like a, uh... These are the mimics. Like a, a shelf. A wardrobe? Oh, just a shelf. Uh, These what, are the mimics. This might be one of those situations hey, where they leave mimic. a small plunder to just get rid of the people trying to rob the place. 
I stab the shelf. It is a wooden shelf. Do you think that? Because I feel like the lightning storm may have gotten rid of the small plunder. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> oh, a good no, point. Oh no, they made it through the mile-long lightning storm. Better give them a little bit of silver. I'm sure they'll go away. <laughs> Back through the lightning storm. <laughs> the mile-long lightning storm. <laughs> that's, that's the whole plan. They'd be like, alright, they got their loot, now they're gonna head out and die. Then we get to collect it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of the silver is gonna attract the lightning, because that's how silver works. Oh my god, could you imagine it's, if that's actually magic actual lightning line? attracting silver. Is there anything on the shelf? Just some bones. I don't think the silver has to be magic I, to I, attract I, light. I was, bones. I was oh, convinced you, know. you were gonna... uh, There's like snake skeletons on there and some small animal and rodentia skeletons. Not really human skeletons, really. Just one skull of a human. So not really I... a human skeleton, just some of them. Poncho squad. Squ Squancho? Squancho! Squancho! Riley, I thought you were gonna say nothing, just some snakes. <laughs> just some snakes. <laughs> well, yeah, there's also snakes. Like, and that should be a given. If you need me to describe that there's snakes here, that's like needing me to describe that there's air. Like, of course there's snakes here. <laughs> the name of this map, just for your reference, is called The Snake Lord's Abode. There's gonna be snakes. <laughs> well, we're 16,000 silver richer, and I can't find an issue with it, so... Yet. Let's not look a gift treasure in the mouth and hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. In the Can't mouth. wait till we walk into the next room and we get fucked if we have any silver. <laughs> God, that's Big something. Lord's anyway, like, you didn't steal any of my silver, did you? <laughs> I'll let you live on one condition: <laughs> you didn't steal all my silver. You could have stolen nine or seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pieces out of each chest, and I would have been totally cool with it. But if you stole the whole sixteen thousand, I'm gonna be so peeved. <laughs> so where do you go now? You see Jock's renting with one silver uh, piece. I give this it back. This is a door, right? What? Yes, that is a door. We'll open it. This was not my best made map. It looks fine. Uh, I mean... I'm just looking for where there's, like, breaks in the gray wall. That's fair. Uh, give me one second to reveal... Because this time, you see something... silly. More snakes. <laughs> why, why would it be more snakes? <laughs> it's, it's more snakes. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, a snake. But this one kind of spooks you, because it is like a big python with a human head. Roll initiative. Ooh, no arms or legs? Just a Ooh. python with a human head. Wait, Ooh. so... Hey, yeah, this one really uh, got me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, you, <laughs> sorry. Can, you can this one threw the short <laughs> stick on being even the mic. I'm sorry, sir, we must be in the wrong room. Oh, uh, he gets a 19 on initiative. What is he gonna do? Flop? <laughs> uh, dude, he's a- He's gonna bite you, he's oh, gonna what? fucking bite you he's with a big guy. He's yeah. got the body of a boa constrictor! He Watch, he's got snake you. teeth. It's gonna be a human head with snake teeth. <laughs> Sneeth. 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 His jaw's gonna open uh, up like the fucking zombies from Iron Legend. Gross. Uh, did you roll initiative? I did Wyatt? Hey. There it is. All right, Ronalig, you're the first to. Solid three. You hear Finn cry out, "Oh my God!" There's a snake with a human head, and you are the first to react somehow. Um. Disarm him. Oh wait. Hold on. Wait. What the fuck can it do? Yeah, it, it doesn't have arms. I'm looking at stat block, and it says it can do attacks if it has human arms, or do a bite if it has a snake head. It has neither of those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, I, I, just... like, I feel like this is mercy at this point. We don't need to kill it. We can just let it be. I feel like it's a mercy at this point. <laughs> He's living his best life. Don't bother him. Ronald like, just turns turns the corner. He's like, Ugh. This is no one's <laughs> best life. 
It Bro. actually can't do anything! I, I think, <laughs> I think, useless I think Jacques is gonna roll, get out the geese arm I and use the, one. the stick end to just keep poking it away. That's and, my turn. Yeah. All right, on its turn, the next ten it, minutes it, missing. It, it, you see, it's just like it's just coiled up, and then it looks up and it sees Finn open the door, and its human eyes go wide. And it goes ah, and then its color changes to match the ground behind it, and it just <laughs> slither away. Uh, Martha, get the kids. There's some home invasion. <laughs> because it's just a snake with a human hand. <laughs> <laughs> These are supposed to be the strongest ones of the UNT, but this one literally can't do anything. Jean, it's your turn. <laughs> this is this is the equivalent if you name every single like major villain character and you get to Bob, and it's that's Bob. I, okay, wait. They, there is something specifically, specifically that these guys can do, but it is. Stupid. It's a snake bot, right? You could coil to try to maybe around a person. With the snake bot? No, no, because they need to be able to bite someone to do that, and they do not have a bite attack because they do not have a snake head. That's rough. <laughs> so I think just... Bree's oh, having the no. enemy explain to her right now. All right. So Jacques, what do you do? Jacques, well, Jacques is walking down. He's getting out his his geese arm butt end, and if if he's ever near that snake, he's gonna he's gonna just poke the snake away. Um, oh, okay. oh the, that's the snake his, with a human head. Yeah, the snake with a human head. Uh, and, and besides from that, that's it. That's the turn. All right, Sig. I think I moved the maximum I can move. Uh, I think, is it 20, 25? Move. Did I have another five feet? Hold on. I had, yeah, that was my movement. I'm done. Uh, any, anything else, Sigfrid? I think you're muted. My bad. Yeah, that's as far as I move it. I'm. Oh, that that's my turn. Not gonna double move or anything. No, nah, I'm gonna stay behind. All right, Lore. Lore's gonna move five feet. And then. Yeah, that's it. Cause I do not want to be first, and I see nothing else. Ah, uh, Finn. All right, I'm just moving up. I'm gonna pick the fucking snake if it tries to touch me. All right, it does not try and touch you, but you do see more snakes. Wait one second, that that didn't go right. Uh, I meant to say uh, more snakes. Ah! <laughs> And also more hallway. Surprisingly absent of snakes. Guys, there's so more snakes. Got guys. Maybe, maybe these ones will be competent. The the one with the the human head is right here. So it was oh. Sneak yeah, you, conspiracy. You know you know what you're about, you fucking loser. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I could add it on the GM layer because it could still be hidden. But whatever, it's it sucks. It's stupid, Gerard. What do you do on your new? You put this fucker out of his misery. Well, one this idiot down. Look at him. He's a stupid snake. Gerard with a human. can't make it into a like. <laughs> he can't get to a spot where he can shoot at him or do anything. He's That's got silly. Slow movement. Fuck. All right. Well, next, I guess. Got him. Wow, yeah, it's plus 17 to hide right now, so that's cool. Ronald Egg. Schmoovin. Uh, and I'm gonna use my action to move some more. I'm just gonna go there. Alright. It is now the snake headed you on to. Er, fuck. The everything. The, the human headed Yuan-T's turn. Uh, and he's gonna he's gonna hit you with the goofballs. Uh, and a cloud of inky blackness fills the area you all are in. Shit. Oh shit. Counterspell question mark? No, you can't see. I don't know 
I don't have darkness prepared anyway. Nor do I actually know it. I got darkness. You can't see him. Oh, but you can see. I don't think. Hold on. Let me double check how counter spelling works. Counter spelling. You have to see the spell cast. I think you make a knowledge check to identify the spell being cast. I would not be able then to you see can... the caster, so. Yeah, that's what I'm checking. I don't think. And then if you if you have the spell prepared, you can expend your version of it to counter theirs. Yeah, if, if I can use darkness to out undo darkness, that's already in effect, maybe. But that's. Oh, you also have to ready an action to counter spell. Uh. That's, that is that's that makes bald. counter spell, spell almost useless. And how the hell did that goblin counter spell my fireball? Because I forgot the rules. Okay, that's fair. I'm gonna, gonna that is, I forgot. That I is sorry. totally fair. Yeah, that, that, uh, I guess that means you have to like completely bait out like a counter spell. You, you, or... ha you have to you have to taunt them into ca into casting okay, something. Okay, okay. So you ready an action? Uh, you ready an action against a specific opponent? Then, when they cast a spell, you make a DC 15 plus spell level spellcraft check. If you succeed, you can identify the spell and then choose to counter it. Uh, then you have to cast the right spell to counter it. That's a lot of rolling it and is a lot a of steps. Process. It is one roll. Oh. Jeez, counter spelling is complicated. That's why I have a ring to do it for me. But it's only one spell. If you are able to cast the same spell and have it prepared, you cast it, altering it to create a counter spell. They automatically negate each other. Some spells specifically counter each other. You can use to spell magic to counter spell, and you don't need to identify the spell. But it doesn't always work. Cool. Fuck. You know, All if right. We ever, if There's we ever a lot of chance. If we ever fight a spellcaster boss, I'm just gonna hold action on to spell magic to counter everything he throws. Uh, um, good, good call. Fl Flame strike uh, counters all spells. If they're dead, they can't cast. Yup. Gerard has the right idea. Proper course of action. True. I live vicariously through Gerard's flame strikes. Everyone we does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and that is that is gonna be its turn, Jacques. Well, if I had prepared daylight, I could cancel it, but I did not do that. So. Mm. Yes, and if I don't know, uh, I was gonna say something mean, but I Jacques actually don't want to. That would he's just be going, me. He's going to try to move fifteen feet. I don't know how you want to move that. Yeah, you do. 15 right, cool. feet. There's nothing in my way. It's just walking. Cool. What's the worst that could happen? Get attacked by a bunch of snakes? Uh, I'll try <laughs> moving to my right 15 feet, because that's roughly where I the hall was. That's 20. And that's my turn, because I can't see. Alright. Uh, let me double check the size of the spell that he cast to see if it fucks you up even more. But, that looks about uh, right. that should be good. Yeah, Siegfried. Um. Uh, B5, 10. Oh, sorry, I can't see shit. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is correct. <laughs> that is, yes. Oh, no, yeah, it's way just... bigger than that. Yeah, it's a 60-foot sphere. Wait, 60-foot radius? Yeah, 60-foot radius. Yeah, I'm gonna move right there, just hold. Uh-uh. All right, fuck, it's not... <laughs> And second, just gotta just gotta properly darken uh, the whole uh, fucking. Oh god! Yeah, it, it, ex it extended out into the, out from the hallway. Yeah, and then it like went out a little bit too. Well, 
Well, uh, one D. That is an impressive level of darkness. That's yeah, a lot. it's advanced darkness. Ah. Uh. Lore is blind as a bat. Yes. Well, no, he's blinder than a bat because bats are fine in the dark. I'm blind as a dwarf. So wait. <laughs> Blind as a human inside the darkness spell. <laughs> um, Laura's just gonna. Can, can he see the edge of the darkness? Wait, how? With with can, can, the can you see any of the light? No, because it's totally dark. You are effectively blind. What were you asking, Guyf? I would assume with the darkness spell that suppresses the light coming off my sword. Uh, yes, because this is a stronger yeah. darkness than your sword's light. Uh, Just making sure. Advanced yes. darkness. <clears throat> um, Lore is unsure if it's greater darkness, so he is just going to cast the light cantrip on his staff, and when it doesn't work, he is going to uh, feel his way around the pillar. There is a pillar next to me, right? Mom, was there? I'm I... blind. I'm pretty sure there was a pillar next to me. He's going to stick his hand out and feel for the pillar. Yeah, you feel a pillar. Okay. He's going to attempt to work his way around the pillar. All right. To over here. <clears throat> Still in the darkness. Yep. That's turn. He's like hiding against the pillar. All right. Uh, did we just lose someone? Uh, did we? No. No. Okay. The it, uh, Something just happened to the chamras. Finn. Yeah. It's dark as balls. It sure is. Not just any balls, like some really dark balls. Yeah, I'm just gonna move 30 feet this way. Alright. Still dark? Uh, it's still dark. Alright, then I'm moving <clears throat> another 30 feet this way. And then uh, uh, one moment. Yeah, you, uh, hold on. First of all, I rolled a 69. Uh, Hell yeah. Which coincidentally is also what I rolled to give this guy a human head. So he's really, like, this dude's feeling it. You bump into a, what feels like a snake with a human head. <clears throat> and then it goes, hey! Anything else? And useless. <laughs> You're useless. Uh, do you want me to put you to where you bumped into him, or did you just fucking keep walking? Nah, I keep walking. <laughs> Alright! Just, just here, you're stupid! And then you... Gerard. Gerard. Alright. Oh, well, I call him a bitch well, and I keep going. Uh... Uh... Hmm. Maybe Gerard should just walk backwards. <laughs> This is a funny. This is some funny well, interactions. Oh, he doesn't have anything he can really do. So, it, yep, that got him. Gerard's done a lot this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ronaldig, it's your turn. I am going to ready an action to attack if I am struck by what I'm reasonably sure is a melee weapon. Got it. If I, if I get s stabbed or smacked with a club, I'm retaliating. Just, just a club, understood. I get it, I feel you. Okay. okay. Uh, it is now not Jacques' turn. Uh, it is the snake with a human head's turn. And it's gonna get like, re it's gonna like get up on Finn. And it's just like next to Finn, and it's like, so you don't mean all those things you say, right? I have never told a lie. Oh. Does it lick the back of Finn's neck? No, that would be oh. gross. Oh, but it does move. Shock. Ooh, let's go. Where am I? I don't know. In the dark, probably. Five. Uh, the geese arm is now pointed forward. Ten. All right. Fifteen, twenty. That's the best I got. I know I'm supposed to end up down that hallway eventually. All right. Siegfried. Um. 
I guess I'll move 20 feet down, so... Wherever that leads me, and just kind of hold my place. All right. Uh, it's not that. It's not some of the lore. Uh, lore is going to ready an action to hit something if it, something in melee hits him. All right. Gonna smack it with a staff, and that's it. Gotcha, Finn. Moving out of the dark. All right. As soon as you do that. You see two. You see two things. The first thing, uh, is actual. Is a snake with a human oh, huh. head. The second thing is a human with a snake head. <laughs> <laughs> and I also need you to move five feet back and then make a will save, or sorry, a fortitude save. You As you see, the, the the snake with the human head has been coiled up, and its eyes start to glow as soon as you pop out of the darkness, and it seems to be casting some foul magic upon you. Oh, shit. That's a 25. All right, yeah, you're... I'm good? Yeah, you're fine. All right. Uh, and... Fun. Yeah, well, I guess so. Uh... That was only a five foot step to get where I am, so can I? Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> I seem to have. <laughs> oh man, now I'm gonna get hit with a hat. Just kidding, no, I'm not. Uh, as the snake with the human head, it's the thing it seems to be best at is avoiding getting hit with a hammer. It's its one gift. <laughs> Oh man, those elves trying to hit me with a hammer. I was built to survive this. I was. I'm hashtag to... built different. Oh. <laughs> guys, there's two guys over here. Follow the sound of my voice. All right, and Finn has now given you all an aural clue. Gerard. Uh, I guess well, story would have been a better. Yeah, would have been well, correct. Cool. Let's start heading back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Do you want a double move? Yes. All right. Oh, 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 ooh, uh, there. All right. That's my Ronalig. <laughs> he's, he's having a rough time, man. Hey, it's a funny, funny darkness spell. Funny darkness. I start moving straight towards the voice. Um, I don't think Ronalig would go into a dead sprint through the mm -hmm. darkness to achieve this. Um, the difference between a dead sprint and a double move, though. <sighs> sure, sure, okay. Uh, give me two D percent rolls, please. Okay. Uh, you all hear a, a shuffling and a clanging of gear. Two? Yeah, you bump into Gerard. Uh, Does it uh, use up more speed to get around him than usual? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you like bump into Gerard and then just like can't get. I put you to where you would have bumped into oh. Gerard. Okay. Uh, so you don't need the second one then, because that would have been to j bump into Jacques. Piece of shit. Fuck. So is that is that my dash, my movements out? No, you can still move. That was just like five feet of fumbling, effectively. That's how I'm gonna rule it right now. Okay, since you moved me back, I'm not sure how many spaces I've traveled. I moved you four back. Four back. I lost one. Okay, so, uh. That is that is the inside of a wall. Right. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I moved you back at such Jesus. Why are you where did you <laughs> what, what happened? I just saw my token in the darkness move left and right and then now it's gone. He it moved you all the way to the right side of the map. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my my fucking keyboard. Sometimes my like <laughs> Sometimes I like turbo key. Oh. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we say, 
I'm, I don't want to be mean, but I'm going to say it was five feet of movement as you bump into the wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have one more space, I think. I moved down into the left. You're good. Is that, is that a place? <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Fuck okay. ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's now this guy's turn again. Uh, and he is going to five foot step into this corner away from Finn, not provoking an opportunity attack. What other funny spells can he do? Wait. Oh, that one. Wait, the, the, the armless... No, that's the other one. That's the wrong one, right? It is the one with the human head's turn. Wait, they go the human oh, head. Maxwell and Evan switched places. Um, Can you change your name? Yes. <laughs> yep. Um. What is it? Okay, he's going to cast another spell at you. Or rather, a spell-like ability. So let's see if it does anything. Let me just, just try to find... So how's everyone's night going? Going good. Nice. Going, Anyone, I, I, I'm beginning to wonder to uh, whether the... Armless... I need a will save from Finn. Oh, no. Sorry, the bit was going to be I would just interrupt whoever was talking as soon as I found the spell. Uh... <laughs> That's a nine. All right, the the snake, its eyes do like a cool snake thing. Uh, and this spell does a lot less cool shit than I thought it did, and is way worse than I thought it did, so I'm regretting it doing it now, but whatever. You have been caused feared, uh, and you are now feared of it. Uh, you have a oh, minus no. two morale penalty on attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, and saving throws. Uh, and you need to flee. <laughs> you need to flee. Wait. Hey, how many hit dice do you have? Uh, eight. All right, you're immune to the spell. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. You're just as yeah, worthless of... as the guy in the darkness. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and now it's now it's just God damn it! Why is that at the end of the spell? Why doesn't it lead with one, hit creatures two, with six or more hit die or open? Still in the uh, fucking punching my palm like a nineties. Still in the in darkness, geese arm forward, Funny. just kind of twenty feet, hoping that he hits a wall. Do you want to double move? That would be too quick for the time span. He doesn't want to run into a wall. He wants to find a wall. I actually hurt my knuckles. <laughs> uh, Alright, Siegfried. Um, <clears throat> I'll use my dash to move as close to the voice as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a D percent roll, please. What would I roll for that? A D100. All right, you also bump into Gerard. Uh, uh, and that takes up five feet of your movement. Okay. So I can move forward, I believe, one more. Were it not for Gerard being there, yes, you could. Oh, but Gerard okay. is there. <laughs> okay, then that's my turn. All right. Uh, it is now the... Uh, the... <laughs> So we have snake with human head and human with snake head. Uh, and human with snake head is going to do something really cool. He's going to take out a fucking bow and shoot Finn. Ah. Uh, or at least shoot at him. Oh, no, that's pretty. No, yeah, it's a 14 to hit. It'd be funny if they couldn't see through the darkness either. Yeah, that would be funny. I think he's 21, so no. All right, he sprints. He sprints away from you. Hmm. As worthless as the other two. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Uh, Lore. The lore is gonna use his staff and try and fumble his way through the darkness. Alright. Corbin yeah. is also up here, by the uh, way. And then. Uh. 
can I just real quick see what you guys see? Would one of you just stream so I know exactly what the darkness is doing? I can do it. That was 30 feet of movement. Lore oh. is... He's following okay. the... He's following the wall over here with his with his staff. Gotcha. So I'm going to keep going down. Mm -hmm. And as soon as there is a gap in the wall, let me know and he'll start going left. Gotcha. That is where. Oh, here? Okay, so that yes. was 15 to there and then 5, 10, 15. Give me a D percent roll. <laughs> okay. Where's my D percent? There it is. Uh, 47. You bump into Siegfried. Right after he bumped into Gerard. <laughs> it's a fucking bump chain. <laughs> oh, but a bump, but a bump. <laughs> he, he just, he hears a clank and immediately knows that he found Siegfried. Yeah. yeah There's nobody, el nobody else in the party would make a clank noise when hit with his staff. Hello. Oh, right. Got Jock. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Hello, is, is this Jacques or Siegfried? Uh... Thank you. <laughs> That's just... Really got to think on that one. <laughs> uh, Finn, there's a useless idiot <laughs> snake with a human head right in front of you. I put step. Oh, God. Oh, uh, one second, let me reveal some polygons. The human with the snake head is frantically, like... Or trying to open this door. What do you do hoo -hoo to the poor snake man? No, no. That's a Kill 30 him. and a 19 to hit. The 30 hits. But the 19 doesn't because the snake is good at dodging. Oh god, 11 damage! He's still alive. He's still so alive. Yeah. But if he tries to run... Oh, man! Well, that's some attack of opportunities. That's my turn. Alright, Gerard. I just realized that the combat music hasn't been going, but I feel like the weird, creepy vibes are better for st parties stumbling through darkness. <laughs> Patrick. Alright. Uh... Trying to hover my m there it is. Uh e e uh, <laughs> uh, -huh. uh can George uh, see outside the door oh I need you to roll a deep percent. Okay, hold on. Seventy two Alright, you avoid bumping into Jacques, but you can't end yeah. your turn in his space. Uh uh. Yeah, so that you would actually just be one forward from there. Oh, God. Um, you, uh, you, I, it's you magical cannot see darkness, out, so you can't see out, right? Yeah. yeah, you cannot see outside of this darkness. Gotcha. This is fun. Yeah, do you want a double move, or...? Oh, yeah, fuck. I keep forgetting about double move. Uh, uh, oh, hey! Bam! Snake with a human head. <laughs> Draw the move right. right here so the person stepping out of darkness doesn't walk around. <laughs> doesn't right immediately in. bump yeah. into him. Oh, uh, you're very considerate. Darkness Ronald. is such a goofball spell. But especially when it's deeper darkness. Hey, Gerard, don't worry. These guys are as fucking useless as the guy we fought. Oh, nice. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, dash action, 5. Dead. Oh, thank Christ! <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, let me... I don't think you need to concentrate on deeper darkness, actually. Oh, right. It just stays for a Course. fucking really long time. We learned that. Of course. Uh... Oh, my God, right? It lasts for one day per level. Fuck. This is silly. This is goofy. <laughs> This is darkness that's gonna last for nine days. He's here now. That's his turn. Alright. Uh, it is his turn. Uh, he's really scared of Finn. Yeah. 
He can always cower. Maybe he'll end it quicker. I believe... Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think this will provoke an opportunity attack because of how it works. Yeah, because this is like a dragon breath thing. Uh, so, Finn, I need another will save, please. Alright, and you fully read the effect and this isn't like a hit die thing? Uh, yeah. Alright. Fifteen. Uh, Finn, you meet the eyes of this snake with a human head, and you realize, oh shit, that's a snake. And then you realize, you're horrified of snakes. You are now scared of snakes. You have an aversion <laughs> to snakes. Uh, uh, you must stay at least 20 feet away from any snake or you on T, living or dead. If already within 20 feet, you need to move away. You can overcome this compulsion by succeeding on another will save, uh, but you still suffer deep anxiety afterwards. So say the rules. <laughs> so... Is that the, just I just... I don't know the floor covered in snakes. Yeah, the floor is covered in snakes. So, Finn... Snakes want to have to be snakes. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's I'm no going to say that your, that your biggest deal is getting away from the snake with the human head, and then we'll deal with the snakes everywhere else. All right. So... Ain't my turn. Uh, correct, it is not. <sighs> And it's going to slither that way. Uh, Did which the slither provokes an incur an attack of opportunity? Uh, not from Gerard. Yes, from Gerard. Yes. And I don't know if Finn is allowed to make one. Gerard is very ready to attack. Hmm. With his melee. Otherwise, <gasps> similar to Antipathy, it's cast by a 16. The 19 to hit? A 19 does not hit. Pick! Let me just check one spell uh, to see if you can make an opportunity attack, Finn. Wait, did I have to roll something? Sorry. He's looking. No. All right. He's looking something up. Can't make opportunity attacks while afraid. It's not afraid, it is an aversion. Ah. So he, like, cannot be near snakes. So I think... Yeah, you can't touch it either. So I'm gonna say no on the opportunity attack, because you would literally rather die than be close to this thing. Uh, so say the rules. Jacques Le Pedou de Soleil. Alright. So here's the plan. 5, 10, 15, <laughs> oh my god, everyone's here. And they're looking oh. down the corner. 20, and then Finn dash is action allows uncool. me to go again. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, you're up there now. I'm up there now. <laughs> this human, the snake with a human head says, Humans. Why did it have to be humans? <laughs> Siegfried! <laughs> It's a it's a funny little reversal of roles. <laughs> I'm going to dash and move five, ten, sixteen, twenty. Oh shit, I lost it. There it is. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, and that's where oh. I am turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny though. Uh this yeah, this uh snakeman is going to throw the door open. I'm just going to reveal the whole fucking room, whatever. And it's a, look at that. Another snake, this one with no legs and snakes instead of arms. These are such fucked up dudes. It just lets you put whatever on them. Uh, and he is going to move in here and he's going to stand next to his brother. Lore. Lore is uh, going to... Well, he heard, uh, he heard some people moving ahead of him. Yeah. So he's gonna, 
Does he, does he feel that he's poking around with the staff? Does he feel that Siegfried is right here? Give me a deep percent. Uh, that's a thirty-seven. No, nope, don't feel anything. Okay, he's gonna try moving there. All right, you're doing five, ten, fifteen, <clears throat> twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Mm -hmm. Dash five, ten, fifteen. Give me a deep percent. Forty-eight. Ah, uh, you bump into something. It's Siegfried again. God damn. Hi, Siegfried. <laughs> uh, uh, am I still able to continue moving? Uh, that end yeah, but you can't move through Siegfried right now. Do you have enough movement to do that? Because that would be 15 feet. My dash had just started. Oh, okay. I was like 10 feet of movement short. All right. Uh, Finn. Um, well, well, into the darkness I go. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the well, aversion to snakes. As soon as he <sighs> enters the darkness, he can no longer see any snakes. Yeah. He, <laughs> huh. I mean, that's not what it is. Yeah, I don't think it's like it's... 5e's frightened condition. I think it's like, it is yeah. knows yeah. there are snakes. It's also not the 3e frightened condition. It is the 3e antipathy condition uh so you get your literally you're feeling magical vibrations from all of the snakes around you yeah, it's uh, just yeah. Double, double, double move to here yeah you can tell that there's that there's more snakes to the south uh than to the north so that is a fair radar. gerard yeah you know you can tell where any snake is it's just that you don't want to be anywhere near them stadar Gerard's turn. <laughs> yes. It's a good thing it's Viper time. died. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Talk to your snake. Okay. Uh, a one, two, three, four, a five. Just in the nick of time. Yes. Oh, man. You're going to hit me with your sickle. I'm going to hit you with my sickle. A 26 does hit. Fuck you. I am. Oh, man. Listen. Hit me with your sickle. Why am just, I speaking common instead of snake? Just die. That's five or seven slashing and five cold. Oh man! All right, he's still up and still snaky. Fuck! Wait, Run is away. he just really tanky compared it to everyone else? Time. Oh god, they've formed a wall. <laughs> it's okay. Just walk past. Just do it. <laughs> No, that's not. It's not okay. I don't have enough move speed and opportunity attacks. Oh, you're right. I go here. I try to shoot the one with the human head. All right. It has. Is that, is that it has the cover? Hold on. Is that guy the normal guy or the like unable to do anything combat related guy? By yes, that is the snake head? with the human head. Yeah, the snake that can cast right. spells. Fuck that loser. I try to shoot this one <laughs> instead. All right, it has snake. That one has scales instead of skin and a snake head. A seventeen. Uh. Let me. Oh my god! A seventeen would hit were it not for the fact that he had scales instead of skin, which increases his armor class by four. What the? Fuck? It's all yeah. They're big scales, I guess. I gotta so get me the, some scales. I gotta get me some scales. So Little the snail um, mail. mail. Yeah, the 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 bolt just like hits him in his pectoral, uh, and it just bounces off, and he hisses at you with his snake head that he has instead of a human head. Well, it doesn't say snake head instead of human head. It just has a snake head. Yeah, just just somewhere. <laughs> okay. uh, anything else? No, that's my turn. And just for everybody's amusement, I uh, forgot that I pulled my sheet out of its plastic covering. So where I keep track oh, of my no. where I keep track of my ammo, I wrote with a dry erase marker on the paper. <laughs> oh no! That's my turn. That's all. Uh, it is now Snake with Human Head's turn. What else can he do? Ah, try to run. You can... Oh wait, no, he can cast another spell. Yeah, of course he can. Uh, he's going to take a five-foot step so he doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Fuck you. 
And then he's going to cast... What's the silliest, goofiest spell in the game? Say it with me, everyone. Ah, it's bestow Darkness! Grease. <laughs> More darkness! Grease. Grease is a silly one. Ew, I am from ancient Greece. Uh, what, sticks what, to snakes. The one equivalent to pocket sand? What's it called? Sticks to snakes. Uh, yeah, dude. he's going to... um. Days. I think you should homebrew a really big version of sticks to snakes that's logs to snakes, and you just turn a whole ass tree into a snake, a giant, giant snake. Yeah, he's you know, going you know, to, uh, so the the flagstones beneath your guys' feet begin to shift and crack, and suddenly vines and thorny plants shoot up out of them, and he's casting Entangle. Uh, uh that so spells I... giant, by the way. Yes. What if there was a spell that's snakes to sticks? And it just <laughs> goes the other direction. Oh yeah, he does. In fact, now he's just gonna move more. He's just gonna move more. Then. Then doesn't that now incur an attack of opportunity? It, yes, one from you. Yeah, get one. Get fucked. Gonna hit you with that geese arm. How does a twenty-four sound? Oh, that does hit. Let's hit him. Murder. Murder. Four plus five. That is a total of nine damage. Ah, uh, he's still up and he's still gonna cast Entangle. So I need hmm, everyone. Yes, every single person needs to make a reflex saving throw. Or no, I'm oh. sorry, it's only 40 feet. Uh, so everyone but Finn needs to make a reflex saving throw. 20. Natural 20. Plus 4, I think. 3. No, plus 6. Alright, it is level 1. Alright, so the DC is 14. Uh, on a success, you are not entangled, uh, which means you... You would just move at half speed through the uh, brush. But if you failed, you are entangled, which means you have a minus two to attack rolls, a minus four on your dexterity score for now, and you cannot move. Wait, so, so what happens if my dex is zero? It, it, hmm. You get <laughs> it a minus, is a minus four, four penalty. It. To... it is a minus four to your effective dexterity, not your actual score. So you don't become paralyzed, which is what happens when your dex reaches zero. But, um, effectively your dex score is zero. Gotcha. What did you say the DC was again? Fourteen. Four okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. Uh, what did Gerard get? Uh... Oh, shit, I didn't roll. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, if you did, would you just sound off if you got a f below a fourteen real fast? I... I did. I got a 15. Alright, so I put a little marker on your guys as you're entangled. Uh, and any other movement is at half speed. Uh, Jacques, on your turn. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, if you try to cast a spell, you must make a DC 15 concentration check or lose the spell. Uh, or you can use a full round action to make a strength check or escape artist check DC 20 to bust out of it. Am I at the very edge of the spell? No. No. So if I were to walk five feet, it would... It... Oh, it goes all the way up to there. Yeah, it's 40 feet cool. out from this point. And I can't do anything. And I'd have to take a full round action. Cool. Uh, I guess in that moment... I'm gonna... Get... Just put away that geese arm... Mm -hmm. uh, and I attempt to break free. Can you stow things as a free action? Uh, I... You can draw things as a free action. It might it might count as like a move. I don't remember. Yeah. So breaking free is a full round action. So you could not put it away, and then. So you can drop it, and then, it or you could just not drop it. Nope, not dropping it anymore. I'm tired of dropping my shit. I'm putting it away. End of turn. Fair enough. You put... All right. Sigfrid, you're also entangled. 
Um, what do I need to do to break out of it? Uh, you can either make a strength check or an escape artist check, but that will, it's a full round action, so it ends at the beginning of your next turn. Okay, I'll attempt to attempt a strength check. All right, it's DC 20. Well, please don't fuck me. Well, it didn't fuck that? you. It didn't All fuck right. me. So at the beginning of your next turn, you can move at half speed, because the plants are still there. Uh, but you are no longer entangled. All right, is there anything else that I can do? I don't believe so. I think that's No, because it's, your, it's a full round yeah, to okay. do that. So. Yeah, okay. All cool. right, it is Just now the, sure. the Yuan-Ti's half-bloods turns. Uh, and they see that Jacques has been recently entangled, so his dex score is low, so they're just going to shoot him with their bows. Twice each, I think. Yep, twice each. So, that is a 17 and a 14 Do on I the first two attacks. flat-footed? What's... No, your dex is four lower, so your dex mod is two lower. Got it. Uh, so, uh, I, have a, I have an AC of 17 right now. Okay, so one of those hits. Yep. Uh, and then I'll roll the next two attacks. Well, how, how much does your armor class depend on your dexterity bonus? I just... I it None at all, it's just I have a dex mod, and right now oh. it's minus two. Well, no, no, no. So your armor, it, your armor class is 100% from you just wearing full plate. So your AC... I think your AC is still the same. Okay, yeah. Because you don't dodge shit. You just wear metal. <laughs> so having a lower dex doesn't lower your AC. I didn't know that was a thing? Yeah, some some armors, you just don't get to add your dexterity modifier to your armor class. I, I didn't know that was a thing. I, I have full plate. Uh, where would it say that kind of thing in the stat block? Just so that way I don't. It's just in the. Way. It's just in the description of the armor. There's yeah. the max dex bonus line. Yeah, because mine. Which for full plate is just plus one. Yeah. Oh, is just plus one. Okay, so it's a minus. So if you had a positive dexterity modifier, then your AC would be one lower. I did not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I think you're good. Well, the next two were a 17 and a 24, so the 24 hits. Uh, so only one of those ends up hitting you in retrospect. Uh, which is a D8 plus 2 damage. That is Snake Eyes uh -huh. uh, for 3 <laughs> damage. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the laughter. All I need is your laughter. More. Thaddeus, okay. Loradius, Telmradius. Uh, Lore is going to walk. Five feet. Mm -hmm. Is it still counted as a five foot step? Even though... It's I diagonal, to... yeah. No, even though I have to move at half speed. Oh, no. So it counts as moving ten feet? Yes. Main... Mainly I was asking is, does it count as the five foot step action? Though no. I don't think that actually matters. Yeah. Um, uh... He is going to uh, uh Um You know what? He's gonna just uh pull out his wand of magic missiles and attempts to hit the human head guy with it. Uh remind me where that one's from again. It is a caster level one wand. Remind me where that one's from again. Like I have source. no I I have no idea. I just have a CL1 wand of magic missiles with 50 charges in it. Have you, you Oh, you haven't used it before? Haven't used it before. It's pro, I think it might be from that shop. All right. One. So, you go you go to cast the spell and nothing happens. Well, that was a ripoff. You are holding nothing. a stick. Eh. Take that wand out of your inventory. It is a stick. I don't, did you get... I, I don't know. It's been sitting in my inventory for a while. Probably at Chuck's Magic Shop, the magic shop run by that bugbear. 
Probably. I told, <laughs> what you, I told you fuckers. I told you fuckers. I don't They're think all... I paid him very much for it. All goblinoids are bastards. Yep, if we see him again... <laughs> we'll Rod Ronald's character development is gonna go in reverse. Hey, Gab. Oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Shut up and get in here and fight! I forgot to roll initiative, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Finn. I'm moving south. He's moving south. South is where more snakes are. Or north. You are inside of a wall, so let me just uh -oh. move you. Yeah. yeah. I think that's my full round to get here. Oh, that's so almost. <laughs> All right, Gerard. It's me, your friendly neighborhood Gerard. Uh, Definitely uh, never betray you. They will never, <laughs> never do it. Um, is this door open? Yeah. I, you know, I really want well, listen. I, um, I just, uh, I want to get this over with. So, um. And then he casts Flame Strike. <laughs> All right, so three dexterity saves, starting from the left. None of them have the thing that gives them bonus to dex saves. Uh, left, middle, right. Oh my god. Oh no, I thought they were all 19s. Uh, but only two of them are. So the one on the left... Dex, uh, reflex saves, where are the saves? Uh, 12, and then 25, and 26. So, the one on the left fails, but the two on the right make it. Okay. Well. Oh, fuck. I've done that, like, four times. <sighs> uh, so that's 13 damage on a success, and 26 on a failure. Jesus Christ. Fuck you. Just, just please, just please die. Please, please just be having I, the die. I bumped into so many people. None of them, and none snakes. Of them die. Exactly zero of them die. You're, you're but going. The one, the one on the left is looking real jacked up. What with his, how hey, is he shooting a bow with snakes instead of arms? It works. It works. It works. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. Trust me. <laughs> it won't work next turn, but it worked last turn. Uh, <laughs> Because the snake bit the string. He gets one. <laughs> he gets one. <laughs> and then he realizes that he has snakes for arms. Fuck, you want to hear weird. Rodelig. Oh, sorry, um, does Gerard move or anything? No. Alright, Rodelig. Alright, I'm half I'm half speed. Yeah, difficult terrain. Okay. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Try to uh, try to shoot this guy. Actually, which guy? Actually, that last square. I'm gonna get here to try to shoot the guy that isn't scaled. Gotcha. The guy with snakes instead of arms, and also a snake tail. Uh, yes, the one that has snapped his bowstring. Yeah, <laughs> you from the snakes. The snake arm. That's a total of twenty to hit. That hits. Uh, three points of magical piercing damage. All right, he's uh low. Get shit on. That's Get his shit turn. On, nerd. All right, it is the snake with the human head's turn. He is out of useful spells. <laughs> We're wearing him down. He can detect poison. Oh, oh, that's funny, actually. Oh, that's goofy. There's no limit on the amount of times he can do that per day. So the aversion to snakes, maybe. <laughs> oh God, Ronaldig, make a will save. Does that require a My verbal component? Specialty. Uh, no. <sighs> He's just like looking at Ronaldig and making his eyes go weird. Six. All right, Ronaldig, you have an aversion to snakes. <sighs> It's a compulsion effect if that changes anything, but, uh... I don't think so. For the next ten minutes, you must stay away, at least 20 feet away from any snake or yuan alive or dead. 
Is it considered an enchantment? It does not say so, so no. All right. I think compulsions are a sub-school of enchantment. But... It does not it's... say... Yeah. That it's well, oh, okay, okay, it was a gag. So... I was going to say it's an eight instead of six. <laughs> okay. I, I still fail, yeah. does not matter. I figured. Um, so yes, you must stay 20 feet away from all snakes or you on T alive or dead. And boy howdy, are there a lot of alive snakes in this hallway. Many. Alright. Many a snake. So on your turn, you're gonna have to deal with that. Jacques Le Petit du Soleil. Oh, I'm sorry, and I need everyone to make reflex saves. Oh as the God. plants try and grab your legs. Everyone but Finn. Yes. Oh, wow. what, uh, what just happened? Everyone needs to save. read the reef. Well, Jacques doesn't because he's still stuck. 15. Gerard, always quick on the reef. God damn it. Uh, DC 14. So Gerard fails. Fuck. Uh, I also uh, fail. I'm sorry. Lord uh, made it. Alright, and Ronald Egg. Uh, 19. Hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, that's weird. You get a uh, you get a, a detriment to your dexterity uh, after you make the save to not be afraid of the snakes anymore, but not while it's affecting you. It seems. That's funny. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Hilarious. Um, any thing else from me? No. Corb gets stuck. Siegfried. Nope. Jacques. It's Jacques' turn. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So oh, I, I had to do the recalculations. Turns out my AC is still 19. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to do the full round action, try to break free. All right, give me a strength check or an escape artist check. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that's going to go well with me, full plate. All right, that's uh, 10 plus 3 for 13. No, you try and struggle against these plants, but they're just grasping too much and too hard. The DC is 20. Siegfried. The, you will... broke out of the plants and you were really feeling good about it, and then like twice as many came up and wrap around your whole body. Uh, and 21. then you tear them right back off. <laughs> and that's my turn. Alright. Uh, guy with snake hands is gonna... I think he can... So that's when the 40 starts, is right there. So that's 5, 10. And then it's 20 to get here. Uh, and Gerard, his yeah. AC is dependent. What's your dexterity? Plus zero. Wow, so neither of you are affected by the Got entangle. Him. That's goofy. Anyway, he's going to bite you with his what arms. What the fuck is flat footed mean? Your feet You're have curves? We are those. Got curve feet? Two bite attacks. Gerard you doesn't have elf. issues with difficult terrain because this is entangle, right? What? Drone has like special stuff when it comes to entangle, doesn't it? I don't think that works against spells if you mean like druid shit with difficult terrain. I also don't think he does in general. Oh, my bad. Uh, anyway, he's just gonna bite you with one of his hands. Would you not? Wait, he might bite you with his head because that. Uh, nope, no, he has a snake tail. Oh shit, he can't make it there then, because the snake tail makes him slower. Oh my god, to this guy. Look at him. That's kind of funny. This can he is... reach? Does he have reach? No, this one's just a dude with a snake tail and no legs and snakes instead of arms. He doesn't have limbs. <laughs> he just has a human head and some snakes. Listen, you Our guys bastard. just need to. I don't know. Like... Yeah, he's actually just gonna move up and block the door instead of anything else. Brave, More. cultured soul. He will die. Um, Lord can move 15 feet. So he's going to move to there. Uh, and then he's going to cast Magic Missile at the human head guy. 
Which, so there's two of them with human heads. The one that we've been having so much trouble with. So who there's keeps two casting, of them. Who All keeps right. casting spells. The snake with the human head. The snake gotcha. with the human head. Caster level human. check. Caster level check. Uh, that is a 17 plus 6, and I discovered that I have an extra bonus to caster level stuff. Gotcha. So, so yes, the spell connects, roll the damage. Uh, this is 44 plus 4. Uh, uh, okay, this, that's a 4. And a 2, so 6. And a 3, 9. And another 4. 13 plus 4. 17 points of force damage. The snake with the human head is still alive. And still angry and sad and pathetic. Finn. That's a lot of different emotions. Well, wow. you're out of the darkness. Yeah. But oh god, there's snakes everywhere. They love me. That's my turn. I'm sorry, Gerard. Uh, hmm. This is. I can't. I I don't want to cast another fucking flame shot. I'm just. I, oh, I'm entangled. I need to get untangled. Uh, is there a type of save I need to do? or? Uh, you may either make an escape artist check or a strength check. Both are DC 20. Okay, we're going with a strength what? check. Back! <laughs> All right. That is, and I should have mentioned if this would have affected what you did. That is a full round action. It's fine. All right. <laughs> Ronald. I made the roll already. Burn them! Burn them all! <laughs> and is it, if I just am I running away? You're just running away, but at half speed because of this <sighs> because of the entangled. Oh god, you're being entangled by snakes. Give me a I, D percent roll. Oh run into the god. darkness. So Seven. Yeah, you bump into Siegfried. <laughs> I've heard that one. Oh god. Uh, uh. Give me a D percent roll. <laughs> Found somebody else in the dark. A one! How? I, I Fred rolled a two, a seven, and a one on a D one hundred. What the <laughs> fuck? Too bad you're not doing divine intervention. Fuck All right. Well, Ronald Legs just freaking the fuck out. That's his turn. <laughs> There's a wall of meat and muscle. <sighs> There's so many fucking snakes. I'm so fucking scared right now of all these snakes. Everyone needs to make dexterity save or reflex saves again. Or yeah. I just just Lauren Ronald Leg. Make it 19 plus six. 30. All right. Yeah. DC 14. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what other funny things? What other person? big lore scared snakes <laughs> yeah uh he's you know what out of the three of you really the, person dangerous? Who, the person who looks like they have the worst uh will save would be just Jacques I think because he hasn't done any cleric magic so Jacques make a will save DC 17 what's your bonus to reflex saves Evan I rolled really poorly, poor but I have a plus nine actually to will. Uh, anyway, I lost it. Uh, Twelve on that. You are a. F mm, you have an aversion to snakes. Cool. I can't so, move. So, no, you so, can't. I'm so <laughs> sad. That, I'm so sad. This wasn't an enchantment. Yeah, it's a uh, something. It's a, it's a snake fear. A yeah. sneer. <laughs> if it wasn't an I would have passed. Jacques, um, you're scared of snakes. I'm gonna say you gotta try and bust out of it. Yeah, I was gonna say there's really nothing you need else. To... Uh, I gotta give it a yeah. shot. Okay, so, so I have a strength. question here. I, mm -hmm. I realize now my strength stat might not be correct. I I have, for some reason, at some point I acquired a minus eight. Was I cursed or something? Uh, yes. Okay. Did I don't remember if I ever solved that. I th it has. I'm just gonna say it's been resolved because it's been at least two weeks. All right. I think I do think that like a goblin cursed you to have bad strength or something. That I sounds like if something we had that like happened. at like a couple days at any point. I definitely saw yeah. that because I can yeah. cure curses. 
Yeah. Um, all right, cool. In that case, uh, try to break free. <laughs> and uh, eight. No. <laughs> I have a plus no, you five, don't. and I rolled an eight. Siegfried. Um. So I'm at half speed. Yeah. You are. Yes. Yeah. You're no longer entangled. Okay. So. I'll uh. So it is difficult here. terrain. Yeah. And then I'll dash to move here. All right. And that is my turn. All right. Uh, it is the Half Bloods' turns. This one's going to move its 20 feet up to here. And it is going to bite one of you. Wait, no, it's not. It, it goes yes, into it the entangle. Yes. But it's a snake, so it's cool with it. Uh, you dr did you, you don't have a weapon out, right? Me? Yes. Because uh, you stoned your geese on. I yeah. meant to pull out the whip at some point, but it came increasingly useless because I can't move. So no, nothing's up. Yeah. Gotcha. So it is going to attempt to use its snake arms to bite Gerard. So one, it's got to just make one bite because it moved a bunch. Uh, that, I think, hits. Um... That is a 19. To hit Gerard. Patrick. Wait, what was the roll? I'm sorry. Jared! I it, is a it is a 19 that to hits. hit Gerard. All you right. fucker. Uh, and then it is going to do a d4 piercing damage. What? Uh, yeah. Two piercing damage. And make a constitution. Oh, God. Or make a fortitude saving throw. <laughs> Mind you, durable bastard. Okay. That doesn't matter. My rolls are... Oh, this shit. Okay, 15. That's not A 15 great. does make it. So you see oh. this deep black venom oozing from the fangs of this man's snake arms. Good thing uh, I'm buff. What? Oh shit, he has a climb speed. He could have been on the walls this whole time. That's horrifying. How tall uses... is the ceiling anyway? It's like 15 feet up. Oh, okay. Uh, and now it's this one's turn, and it's just gonna like move up there and then use a bow. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Uh, so that was a five foot step, so it's gonna make two bow attacks <laughs> against Jacques. First one is a twenty four to hit. Second that one is a thirteen to hit. That so that's just a d eight plus two damage. That is eight piercing damage. Oh. Hit me for eight. And it's and it's really scary because it's a snake doing it. Gonna be the saddest ending to Jacques' life, just stuck in a bramble. Full of snakes. Full of snakes. Lore. What size creature is this? Large or medium? It is a large old snake boy. Damn. I can't do what I was gonna do then. Uh can't do what I want to do. So, uh, Laura's just going to cast Magic Missile again. All right. Um, can I have the missiles hit one at a time, or do I need to declare them all I believe time? I believe you declare them all ahead of time. Okay, I'm going to do... Because they should strike at the same time. I'm going to do two to this guy, two, two to, to the snake with the human head. Gotcha. And two to the other guy, to the guy with the snake hit. Mm hmm. So, cast a level check against the snake with the human head. Uh, that is a 19 total. Makes it. And a cast a level check against the other guy is a another 19. All right, also makes it. Uh, so, damage against the first guy is. Uh, wow, I rolled two fours. Uh, so, ten points of force damage. Alright, you kill that one. And then damage against the other guy is... 
nine points of force damage. You do not kill that one. Uh, we cannot see the health bars of the two remaining, just letting you know. Fair and enough. That Finn. is Laura's turn. Oh. I'm in the sphere. Alright, you're in you're in that. There are snakes in it. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh god, there are snakes out in the like barren wasteland around the ziggurat too. Gerard. <laughs> All snakes. It's all, all right. snakes all the way down. All the way and out. Oh, that lasts for ten minutes. Uh, can, even though I'm tangled, am I able to hit him because he's in melee range? Or is that... uh, I believe you have a minus something to stuff. Fuck. Let me just double check, but yes. You can try. Minus two to attack rolls. It's not that bad. I'll, I'd rather go with that than having to hit a 20 on a fucking plus 2 roll. Alright, so that's a 16, that's a 16, because that's what 16 uh, also just hits. 16 just nice. Hits. Okay, so that's uh, 5 slashing and 2 cold damage. So 7 total damage, alright. He is barely hanging on to life. It's on his last Stop tail. It. Let go. Uh. He's fine. There's not a light I see. Walk towards it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh all right. This the his snakes uh, his snake arms are hissing at you a lot. Uh Ronalig. I'm running into the darkness. Um and yeah. Uh, give me a D percent roll. Cause wait, I did I can't remember who I bumped into first. You but... wouldn't know, to be fair. Well, didn't Siegfried walk past me? Or oh, the yeah, people Siegfried. I bumped into? Yes, yes, yeah, Siegfried walked. Yes, okay, so this one up so, top. Yeah, I, I saw him walk past, so I go to the space that All right. I think is vacant. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55. Uh, I'm sorry, the entangle is still in effect, so you can only move 30 feet. Fuck ass. Shit balls. 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, there. That's my All turn. Right. I'm so sorry, this is funny though. <laughs> Jacques Le Petit <laughs> Alright, he's gonna try to break free. Alright, give me a strength check. 15. No. Yeah, so he's stuck there. End of my turn. Siegfried. Um, I will move. I will use because I uh, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'll use my dash to get there, and I'll end my turn. All right, you are going to get bit by a snake, or attempt but... to get bit by a snake. Oh. Yeah, because you just ran right through with the threatened space. Oh, I didn't even see him. Okay, so would you have? I mean, you uh... still would get one uh, if you pass through Jacques' space to somewhere else to hit him. Um, actually, I'll stay behind and whack this dude. All right, so how much movement was that? Is that just 20? Uh, oh, no, I can't do that because it's in dash, so I'll just stay right there. Okay, uh, he is still going to get an opportunity attack, so if you want to move That's yourself fine. up to... Okay. Uh, that is a, a 13 plus something. Uh, 17 to hit, which I think misses because you're in full plate. That misses, yeah. All right, so the... AC. Jesus Christ, yeah. The snake's just like... <laughs> a scratch against the metal. Uh, now it's its turn, so it's just gonna have a really fun time of making two bite attacks against Gerard. With its snake arms. Uh, both yes, of which yes. are plus four to hit. So that is a nine, which misses. And that is a twelve, which misses. Got him. Uh, my nose feels like blood. Lore. Okay, um... I... I don't really have much, uh... I can do left mm -hmm. that I want that I want to use right now. So, Lore is going to pull out his crossbow and attempt to shoot this guy. Alright, um... Alright. Uh, I need to make yeah, sure I don't. Gonna... 
I need to make sure that's not still my base attack bonus. Because if it is, then it's just sad. I think it might be. It is. It is. Uh. Well, here we go. I believe his AC would be adjusted slightly because of the number of people that are the same size as him in between you well, and him. Hopefully, it's not greater than 26. It is not. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, so that is not going to hit, though. That is a 16 to hit. No. Yeah, that is... That's the turn. That's once more, the bolt clatters off of his scales, and he's just kind of staring you down with his snake head that he has. Stop flexing so much. No, his snake. Uh, Finn, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to start rolling the cage if I can. All right, yeah, it moves. I'm going to say you can only move like 10 feet per round if it's um, just the one of you. Yeah. Wait for him to um, come back, aren't we? Gerard. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hit him again. All right. <laughs> That's a 12. 12 does not hit. I'm sorry. Shit and poo poo. Anything All right. Else? I don't think that. I think it's a full action to try to escape the thing, isn't it? Yep, so you cannot. Fat! Ronaling! You just, you just tell me when the rough terrain ends, if it ends. Uh, 25. Uh, that would actually you would have ended uh, 20 feet ago. Ah. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Um. So I think my full 60 would be here ish. Okay. Let's go. All right, Jacques Lepidou de Soleil. Let's break it, break out. There is a thing right next to you if you want to draw your whip and attack it. No, but I'm afraid of snakes. Right you are. So, ten, don't break out. Next turn. All right. Siegfried. Yep, I'm going to give him a little meaty Uh, God. God, that is a I... 23, which does Thank hit. Thank you. Uh, and yeah. your minimum nope, damage. that's the wrong one. That's the wrong guy. one. But I apologize. I broke it's all one. good. Uh, yeah, he had two hit points left. So oh, okay. you just fucking slice him into bits. Uh, was that the initiative one? No, it wasn't. Okay, and then I'll use the rest of my movement to get up to this guy. All right, it's its turn. You come close to it. It drops its bow and pulls out a scimitar, and is going to attack you with that. Which is plus ten. That is a twenty-three to hit. That hits. All right, and the scimitar is a D eight plus two. So that's six slashing damage as it manages to find a crack in your armor. Lore. I'm gonna try and shoot the guy again. All right. Except before I do so, I'm gonna move. Uh, is is it still difficult terrain, or did that go away? It's still difficult terrain. It does not go away. Okay, I'm gonna move 15 feet closer and now attempt to shoot him. All right. He is in melee with an enemy, so minus or with an ally, so minus four. Well, probably gonna miss then. Completely. Uh, yeah, that is a total of six. Yeah, total of six does miss. That Finn moves minus four. Yeah, Finn moves uh, another ten feet. Gerard. All right. Fuck! He's got to try to break free. Fuck me, dude. All right, give me a strength check. <laughs> I want to break free. No, oh, Ronald. Yeah. Where am I? There I am. Uh. 
Oh, I guess he would be at like a three times, right? Three times move speed for just running. Uh, no, sprinting has to be in a straight line, and you turned. That all was in a straight line. Oh, but I just did. And that's like four times. Run four times normal. Oh, and if it's and if I'm carrying a heavy load, then it's three times. So four times. Yeah. Okay. Um. Jacques, give me that strength check. All right. Oh my god. Uh, so I got a 24. Kind of wish I didn't. Oh, 24. All right. You do break out of it. Oof. So at the beginning of your next turn. Yep. Siegfried. Please, God. <laughs> please, God. I'm smack him. Let's take out that point for you this time. 28. It hits. You kill him. 17. He had 16 hit points left. You kill him. You kill him and he's dead. And uh, all and all of the all, effects go right. away. None all of right. the effects go away. All so, of them uh, I will, we're fine now. I'm going to ask that we take our halfway break here. I sure. Right yeah. then we will call everything. Yeah. One thing you might want to look up while we're taking a break mm -hmm. is... You know, I'll look he it needs up later. to shit. Okay. He needs to shit. Yeah, fair, fair. I I was genuinely thinking that the snake scare was going to be a, a active after death, and I was going to have to scramble for. The oh no, table. it is. Oh, okay, cool. So I was I was joking as, based on what he was saying, the darkness, the snake fear, the vines, okay. all of it is still active. Cool. Yeah. I need to see. I need to find out if dispel magic works on greater darkness. I I don't remember. Was the table covered in snakes? Fucking the, everything has been covered in snakes. I just don't remember if the table. There were two identical tables. One on the left and one on the right. I don't remember if I those believe, had snakes on. They were shell. They had there snake were, skeletons. They were shell. Technically, technically dead yeah. snakes, so you have to be afraid of them. Well, I mean, I put there. Do you have to be afraid of dead snakes? Yeah, I was gonna say they're yeah, not. They're the, not really a threat or anything. I can just. <laughs> And then get on that table, maybe. Uh, snake or yarn tea, dead or alive. But if there's like, why is it dead or alive? Table, I gotta keep moving. Terrified like, of the I'm, I'm terrified of real pirates, but if it's a dead man dressed like a pirate, like I wouldn't, you know, I'd be chilling. You wouldn't want to like interact very long with a dead pirate corpse, but like I wouldn't want to interact very long with any corpse. Unless it's like, if the fear is something living, if the fear isn't literally zombies, then I don't think I'd be afraid of its corpse. Point being, I think Jacques is going to have to run, then very shoddily find his way out of the darkness. <laughs> then my plan is to go for the table, because outside also just has snakes. So, like... The only true escape of snakes is to run a mile through lightning... Well, I figured Land. maybe the table would be the closest I, I could get die. to a slight reprise, but even then I would die of starfish. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be that long. It's like ten minutes, but... Jacques is afraid, but there's either definite death by lightning or snakes <laughs> everywhere. Well, you, we got to ask Riley about that, because the irrational fear of snakes might overcome the fear of lightning. <sighs> And then you just die because you're running across a lightning field getting struck. Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe. I think you're right. I wouldn't I would I would be afraid of the lightning. I would probably think of the lightning as I'm getting into the lightning. There are snakes mm. made of lightning. No. There's something to run from. Oh oh god, a, a lightning bolt strike is vaguely shaped like a snake. Oh. <laughs>
so if yes, you can choose to get in the Faraday cage to avoid being struck by lightning. Because you wouldn't like jump off a cliff. Hold on, would you? Would you? If your friends told you to. <laughs> if you could jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> and and live? Yeah. No. Leave the entangle. Well, that's eight minutes. So yeah, you guys are. It is yeah. It is ten minutes before. Uh, wow, wow. This is silly. Yeah, that this greater is darkness is also a day a level. Yeah, so that's eight days of darkness. Yeah, Lore is going to do something about that. Sure. So eight days um, of darkness is my new novel. Okay, so I'm going to be Ooh. going this way. I can't just. Well, I'm going to have my hand on the left side. Got to mm -hmm. run it. Laura's oh gonna get down here. Holding until I, I feel. Tell me oh. when I when I'm not feeling it anymore. While Jacques is running in the darkness, Laura's going to come down to the edge of the darkness. Don't feel it. Okay. And cast dispel Going magic. Up. All right. What is the range of dispel magic? Uh, dispel magic. Um. It only gets rid of part of the darkness. A hundred feet plus ten feet per level. Okay. And I can and I can target a specific spell. Okay, Rad. So I am targeting uh, the. You got to do a check or anything? Is yep. It I need to check? do a caster caster level check versus a DC of eleven plus spells caster level. Okay, so it's nineteen. Okay. You know, it would be a nightmare spell. Hmm. Checkerboard Ooh. pattern darkness. <laughs> twenty. Tw I rolled a twenty-one total. All right. So the deeper darkness is dispelled. Yeah. And that's definitely cool. dispel the deeper darkness. Oh shit. Now we can see. Oh, shit. And you can One be second. terrified of the snakes all over again. <laughs> Just more snakes. Just more snakes. Little did you know that it was actually the snake darkness spell, which it's spawns darkness. more snakes in the darkness. As soon as the, the, it only spawns snakes when the darkness goes away. You know how. Yeah, uh, the darkness was the only thing keeping the snakes at bay. You know the trope of, like, finding the treasure and then the temple or whatever starts to collapse or flood or something? No, that's never happened in media. And yeah, it's stupid. I, yeah, yeah, well, it's that, but it's, it's just snake. all snakes. The snake it's... hole opens up and... <laughs> and it's all snakes. snakes. Uh, yeah. Riley, I have a question. Yes, I have an Did, answer. Uh, I, I, I had checked this table. I was like, I, I could at least see it. Were oh, there snakes door. on that table? Yeah. There's snakes on, like, every surface. There is snakes on every surface. Run in. Run oh, yeah. in. The snakes. So, um... Where are you going? Lore and Gerard. Well, Gerard, you're... You, no, you're you're over here. You're still entangled. Oh, wait, did are, you... Do I just have... Do you want me to just take ten or, like, roll until I break free? What do you want? Well, because there's things that matter, like, how quick they happen, because Finn, Jacques, and Ronalig are all sprinting away from the ziggurat into the thunderstorm. <laughs> into the I... Faraday cage. Gerard, hurry the fuck Wait. up! Get in! Uh, Get in! Okay, so Gerard I rolled, I rolled a that round. He's, I'm you just, assholes. I'm... Get in. Uh, not not uh, you, Riley. Uh, yeah, um, so Finn... <laughs> If you guys just go, then you just go. Uh, are the three in the ziggurat doing anything to stop them? Laura's just gonna hope they come back. Wait, why are they going? I think they're scared of the snakes. Hopefully it ends. Can't <laughs> snake. They weren't scared of the snakes earlier. I think the other snake had something to do with that. Oh, he did weird snake eye things. You magic. smell that? Smells like they're being little bitches. Oh, oh, That's I'm very on brand for Thank you, Bigfoot. Glad there's no snakes in here, huh? Huh? No, there's so many snakes there's on the ground. So, there's the snakes cage? there. It is a, it is like a, it's a cage. You can see through it, and you can see the snakes on the ground. Oh fuck! And you have to walk over them if you want to get anywhere. Yeah. So the only it's... way to stay away from snakes is just to sit in the cage and wait. Climb up no, a tree. The snakes, well, could, no, the snakes have climb speeds. We're escaping. There's so many fucking snakes. Ten minutes pass, and then you stop being afraid of snakes, and you're hey. ten minutes away. Get back in here! You guys suck! Uh... What are you wow, doing? Why was I so afraid of snakes? Fuck. I don't know! Stop it! 
Let's turn this Faraday cage around. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this Telmarin cage around. All right, let's all push him to the side. we're not getting nuggies from gotta, McDonald's. Gotta push him this side. <laughs> Free nug Wednesdays. <laughs> we There's were all, uh, about that snakes. You ran away from the snakes into the field of snakes. I don't know what the what the point was. Well, on the other side of the field of snakes is no snakes, or at least a drastically reduced amount of snakes. Yeah, we don't Just like we, we don't get snakes. We're over there. Yeah, all right, sure. But uh, in, in hindsight, I don't know what I was afraid of, lol. Yeah. Look, this is a gardener. This is a gardener. This is a go okay. I can't do this. They're gardener snakes. <laughs> I like how you get to the third gardener. You're like, no, I can't do this. There's too many. <laughs> There's a lot of snakes. Oh, that one's a black mamba. But, uh, you know, he doesn't bite. He bites you. Whoa! Gerard <laughs> fucking dies. <laughs> Hello, so, uh, everyone. side door. Uh... Look, this door looks like it goes somewhere. You think there's any Like snakes? many doors. I'll, I'll kick it down. You okay, uh, go for it. Let's open that door. Alright, you kick the door in and you reveal a room with no this... snakes in it. Uh, wow, we could have gone here the whole time, no snakes. But there God. is a human, a dead human body. That's not a snake. And, a, and just a bunch of old blood. Uh, I would That's like to... Also, not, also not a oh, snake. Why well, are there like no to, snakes in this room? I would like to take a closer look at this human body in the blood, just try, try to understand what happened. This is the no nice snake my body. From what is remaining. Maybe a medicine check. Okay. Is body medicine... of John No Snake. Is medicine even a... a... Uh -oh. Heal? Okay, heal. Alright. Uh, 20 total. Okay. Um, this is a dead old skeleton. Uh, you can tell from some, like, wounds on it. The fingers on both hands have been chopped down to one knuckle. Uh, same with the toes. They've been chopped mostly off, leaving just barely any left. And you see a number of, like, poorly healed cracks and fractures in the bones. It seems that this person... Uh, was definitely tortured before dying. Ooh. It does appear to be the, the skeleton of a human, though. <clears throat> no I wonder how they got a human huh? in here. Uh, that's that's oh, cool. uh, some torture. I okay. guess that's the human room. Good for him. Don't go in there. It's dead human. I mean, no unless snakes, you're though. scared of snakes again. So if you have a panic attack, like, uh, right, right over there, that room. As soon as the door opened, a bunch of snakes went in. Oh. Can I tell if the corpse became a skeleton via natural decay or by being... Eaten um, by snakes? Yeah, like like being eaten right off the bones or be the meat being cut off the bones. Don't snakes always swallow a hole? Is Give this me a, a heel check. Is this a peeled skeleton? Oh, gross. And I probably don't know. Do you peel your humans, or do you eat them? Five. Rind. It is incredibly difficult to tell. Fair enough. But. It's a skeleton. That's what matters. Goodbye, skeleton. I'm rooting for you. I'm gonna say Jacques actually would have done well enough to tell um, that it appears to have been, like, a, a corpse that decayed. And then was maybe nibbled by a couple of rats, so the scalification process was enhanced. Well, How the hell did hand. some rats get in there? There's so many snakes. <laughs> the rats were just there before, I guess. Yeah, or this could be big this rats. could be this could be somebody that was tortured and killed by the original builder. Maybe he was of in the, the rat ziggurat. Oh my god! Oh my god! This. <gasps> It used to be a temple to a rat god. Is there a rat god? Am I aware of a rat god cult? Give me a religion check. Start one. Start one? Hold on. They're, uh, 18. An 18. 
you seem to recall stories of uh, an ancient group of uh, lycanthropic people who paid a particular homage to these um, totems, I guess you could call them, and totem creatures that signified the form they took under the full moon. You're also aware that there are lycanthropic rats. So, were rats. So it seems a logical assumption that there could be some old ancient totemic god of rat lycanthropes. Wait. Does this like rat like they turn into a rat rat or a rat man? Both. Either. Either. They could choose a, a halfway rat. point. Or rat. full rat. Okay, but would it be like a big human-sized rat, or would it be like a little little? <laughs> would, it, uh, would it be like? De depends. I mean, if it's if it's a halfling, were rat, then if if rat. they turned into a hybrid form, they would be a small, you know, a three foot tall rat man. Okay, that answers my question. If if anybody goes full rat, I think they end up being. Little tiny rat. Oh. That sounds terribly unintimidating. Don't I believe that it is a uh, a giant rat. Can you imagine how cool being the rat? R O U S. It's normal size in fantasy world. You get these Good teeth. Good point. You get to bite everything. Got this cool tail. Rats are cool. But why would the were rats build a ziggurat? I don't know. Why would the snake people build a ziggurat? They... Yeah, well, it is a giant. Bit... It is a giant rat when they're in rat form. Gotcha. Well, the the, the sneeple didn't build a snake ziggurat. They just okay. Well, maybe the rat it. people stole a ziggurat. Fucking like what? Is... <laughs> You just put an image in my mind of a bunch of rat people picking up a pyramid and running off with it. <laughs> That's what they do. I think. I think we've stumbled upon a great conspiracy, a hidden ancient war of There's rat a... people versus snake people. There's a snake lord beyond this door, and we're gonna go in there. And he's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking?" If we <laughs> if we if we kill the snake lord, then we're choosing a side in the great snake rat war. Who's the rat? If we need to, we could just kill the rats as well. No. We're a third, we're a third interest. What kills snakes and rats? People. Birds. Falcons. Birds? Falcons. Birds of prey. Yeah. Oh, I'm into this. I'm into this new edgy bird arc. The, I don't the, want to be a the, bird. The Falcons of Mushfall. Siegfried, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to put a pause on you, like, redeeming your family and killing demons. We have <laughs> snakes and rat men the world over to slay. We have Come to on, lads. Murder. I'm in it. I'm Snake for it. Just here. <laughs> what? Nah, fuck my family. We gotta kill these rats. I thought the snake men were just here. Like, they're not the world over. Have you not been listening to me? <laughs> I'm uncovering a conspiracy. Okay, let's go kill oh, this oh, motherfucker. Jesus, yes, okay, Jesus Christ. I'm done with a bit. Hello, <laughs> snake. Shut the fuck up. We're going to kill the snake. I'm Wait, hold on. Who was actually hold on. saying something? I'm sorry. <laughs> there is another door up here that you have. Another place. Out. Yeah, there's one more space to go up there. Uh, does anybody want uh, like a third level hold cure level moderate? Or, yeah, it was like cure moderate wounds. Oh, I've got like ADHP. I'll be fine. That sounded get, like I said ADHD. I I said ADHP. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what, don't know what I'm looking okay is, right but my doctor said I got 80 of them some bitches. <laughs> it's 3d8 plus my cleric level plus one. So it's like 3d8 plus six plus one. Okay, so, um, apparently there's a door over here that we missed. Alright, I'll just... Now that makes me feel stupid, because I got all hyped up for murdering the snake man again. Is everyone going there? 
Because <clears throat> Corva yeah. goes there. I don't, I don't want to bust this door open unless everybody's in here, because, like, it's going to be Sneevel. Yeah, everyone's go Laura's going up. No, no, no. I'm t we're, ta we're talking about the door right now. Do we oh. want to investigate this last door in the top right before going ah. to the next layer? I feel... Um, I f if, I, if I don't do this room, I feel guilty. Something something feels wrong about it not, that, not opening every door. That is that is absolutely fair. Yeah. Can't can't leave a door un, unexplored. Leave, leave no hinge unturned. Uh, ah. Corb, Corb moves out a little way to make room for Finn. Thank you, Corb. I, ch I check out that lock. I check it out is, that door. It, it appears to be... Uh, I'm rolling your spot check. With a plus nine. All right, that is a low, but it, it, it does appear to be unlocked. Uh, do you All guys right. want to listen at the door? Or anything, or...? I don't... No, hmm. Barjin. All right, Gerard said barge in, so Gerard barges in. Gerard barges in. Hello. This All is right, roll initiative. Shit. Hello, <laughs> Wait, because my there name is... is... Montoya. Uh, a man. A man beyond lists, with scales instead of skin, no legs, and a snake tail, and a big snake. It is just a big snake, it looks like a big snake. I'm still fucked up from last time. It's all snake. I, I oh, asked I'm sorry, whether you I didn't wanted a, 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 like, cure serious wounds, if anybody had wanted it. Oh, the, like... I'm Nobody said... I, I'm explaining the natural one that I rolled for initiative. Oh, sorry. Still yeah. mentally fucked up from the magics. Yeah. I will Did we get a surprise round for busting the door down? Uh, no, because you guys were kind of deliberating for a while outside Good of the door. <laughs> we are not. Oh, wow, they still both got be yeah, yeah, damn it. yeah, and also a bunch of you were wearing a very big, heavy, loud armor. I can't fucking roll initiative. But you can roll attacks. That's true. And cast flame strike. Thanks, Only God. two things in this world. You're welcome, child. They react first, uh, starting with the one that is just a snake. That one's just a snake. Funny, it doesn't have all of the goofy spells that the last one did, but it does have the Thank ability you. to make Finn need to make a will save. Hey. <laughs> God damn it! You don't get, like, immunity after you've been hit by it once or anything? Nothing like that? Remember the snake room. Remember the room. In 18, you overcome this snake trying to... Thanks. There is no clause that says if you make it, you don't get to get hit by it again. <laughs> there is nothing stopping this guy from doing it over and over and over again. Oh, if we could blind the per the snake. Per <laughs> if we could blind the snake. Maybe. They can't look at us. All right, you it's now what? the uh, it's now I'm the. On the image of a T posing sure. snake man forcing everyone to do fucking fear hiss, checks. Hiss, 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 and it goes over there. Uh, and this is just a dude with uh, scales instead of skin, no legs, and a snake tail. Uh, and he's got uh, he's in a small room. He's not even gonna fucking but no, he is gonna fucking bother. Uh, he's gonna stand here and shoot two arrows at Gerard. Miss. Oh, uh, no, he's not. That is a 16 and he a 12. He hit, well, he missed one of them. So the 16 hits. D8 plus 2 damage. By the way, this, uh, is, this is Gerard talking as he's being yeah, shot. That is 8 piercing damage. Oh. Um, oh, and Gerard, you see over here, this seems to be a rudimentary kitchen in which a big rat is being cooked. No! Sigfrid. Uh, why, why was that so guttural? I it's a rat. Felt like it. <laughs> Gerard likes rats. I guess yeah, Gerard likes rats. Kind of going to be a problem with us slaughtering all the rat people. Not doing fifteen. Uh, so that should be twenty feet of movement. Yeah. Okay. Why are and you moving there? To smack this dude. That's that is Corb. Oh, that's that is Corb. I'm an yeah. idiot. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I and know. I'm gonna move I killed him, and I'll I'll leave him there. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna reveal thing. the outside as well because it doesn't matter anymore. Now that you guys have scattered out the whole zig, sort for ziggurat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lore. 
Do I have line of sight on the all snake guy? Do you? I think I do. It looks like you do. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast blindness. All right. So he needs to make a fortitude save, but I also do. I also need to make a yes, cast yes spell check. Yeah, and is, is there any? Was there any benefit depending on the level of the spell, or is it all just caster level dependent? Just caster level. Okay. It's just like an attack roll. Twenty-one. All right, so he's making a fort save. What's the DC? Uh, uh, DC fifteen. Uh, he gets an eleven, so it goes blind. Yay! I'm blind. My snake eyes. I'm a snake. Hiss. Grr. Spit. And hope. Hopefully, he now can no longer make anyone else afraid of snakes. Who's and to say? Ronalig. Boldly go where no falcon has gone before. <laughs> All right. Um. Shoot, that is my full thirty. I am going to three. I'm uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna make the attack roll with a right. rapier. That's a fifteen to hit. A uh, fifteen just definitely misses because its AC is higher because it has scales instead of skin. All right. And That's also, what... no legs and a snake tail. Uh, Jacques. <clears throat> uh, did the blindness work? Ah, uh, it seems to have. Cool. Uh, in that case, I'll go forward. Boop. Fifteen. Oh, sure, 20. We'll be right there for now. Why not? And I'll smack this this person with the whip. All uh, right. Whip smack, whip crack. It's like a mermaid about a snake. Snurmaid, if you will. Oh, hell yeah. 12 plus 18, 20. That is 30. 30. Which is comfortably above his armor class. Yeah, get hit. Actually, you know what? This one's a lady. A lady with scales. I'm trying to default with the day, since I don't know there's there's just Sneeple, you know. All right. Well, she's be... a snake. It's the snitch. Snitch. Uh, six to nine, piercing damage, and four holy damage. All right, would you just give that damage to me all in one bit from now on, por favor? I, I, I didn't know whether it, you would need to. Yes, and now I am saying that you do not need to. Okay. Fen. All right. Which one of these guys was it that did the eye thing? Was it all snake? All snake, yeah. All uh, snake, no. <laughs> Typical politician. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just double move to here and be in his space ready to fuck him up next turn oh it hisses at you so much line oh it yeah I'm gonna it has reach so it gets an opportunity attack against you uh but it has a 50% miss chance if it targets the right thing, got a 55, then I got a 19 on the die, uh, and it was going for a bite, so that is a total of 31 to hit. Is that, is yeah. that Okay. <laughs> hey, you never know. Um, what's the damage on a bite? Wow. Wow. Okay. So, Finn, it hears you, like, running up to it, and it gets a really meaty bite out of you. It does, uh, 12, yeah, 12 piercing damage, and poison. Uh, poison. I need you to make a fortitude saving throw. That's an 18. And 18 does make it. So you see again this deep black eye core oozing out of this beast's fangs as it tries to rend, as it does actually rend you. Uh, but you manage to fend off the poison for now. Gerard. 
Gerard will. Gerard is thinking he doesn't, he shouldn't be using any of his big spells. So, so I will just... use little spell. Flame Strike yeah. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there was a fucking Flame Strike Junior, you know. But no, he's gonna use uh, his favorite spell. Hit with Sickle. 15? Uh, 15, no. Your Sickle just glances off of this, this, uh, snake lady's just hardened abs that are made of snake scales. Think scales? Snake scales. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? She's a snake. Okay. Uh, anything else? Um, no. <laughs> All right, uh, the snake is gonna try and hit Finn again, another 50% miss chance. Uh, oh my God, it rolled the same thing. So that is another 31 to hit for 10 piercing damage. And I need Finn to make another constitution saving, th or fortitude saving throw. 15. All right. Uh, you, this time, your body does not fend off the poison. And in addition to the 10 piercing damage, you, uh, you take three points of constitution damage. Oh, cool. So now you're fun, fun thing, fun interaction. You're worse at the saving throw to stop the poison again from hitting you in one minute. Ah, uh, so keep that in mind as the snake manages to wrap itself around you and dig its fangs deeper in. It is the other snake's turn, uh, and it is scared, so it's gonna. <laughs> uh, Gerard. Oh, Question. yes, Finn. Answer. So, because of that, mm -hmm. I know my maximum HP goes down. The, yes, the amount of injuries that you sustained also stays. So your total hit points go down. Your, your current, current hit points. Well, so I'm at HP. You're at how many? I'm at 9 HP. I went from 25 to 9. Did you lose two points of con? Yeah. Oh I, god. I have 14 con. Minus three puts me at 11. Oh no. That's pretty bad. Well, someone should save Finn. Uh, but that someone might not be Gerard, because Gerard, I need you to make a will saving throw as this snake man. Why <laughs> would I ever want... Hold on, Mr. DM. Why would I ever want to save Will? Boo -da -boo -da -boo. Oh my god, you're scared of snakes. Are you fucking kidding me? They all can Am do I it. scared of snakes? Shit, Don't fucking do it! Fuck. They're not everywhere. Uh, and that is its turn, Siegfried. Uh, you noticed a... that Finn is looking much more pallid and pale than he was, his blood is spilling out in droves, and his muscles shrinking in size nearly before your very eyes. This snake man here is staring Gerard down, and you see that Gerard's legs have locked up, and then are tensing as if to sprint out of the room on his next turn. What do you do for that Klondike bar? Ten... That would be 20 to get to him, and then... How much HP are you at right now? Ben? Uh, nine. I'm at so nine, nine out of a total of 63. Oh shit, I don't know how much lay on hands I have. Uh, uh, uh. On damage fucks me up big time. It fucks everyone up big time. Yeah. Yeah, that did a total of, like, 16 points of damage to you. Okay, yeah, I'll dump all of my Lay on Hands into you. Um, so that's 16 HP. Heal you for 16. I believe I should be good. So, oh, yeah. Just since it's been a while since we played 3E, just to make sure everybody's on the same page... If you go to negative 10 HP, you die in this game. Yeah, You'll go unconscious. If you get to negative 10, you're dead. You're out. 
by a nor. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so that will take my action, and that's all that I do. Okay. Um, it might not be very clear in the document, but I intended for you to also be, to do, like, your full normal lay on hands, and then some of your uh, like, sacrificial lay on hands. Yeah, hand. it says that I have a pull, and then anything after that, I have to take uh, damage for the sacrificial. Yeah, so you can well. do those at the same time if you want. So you can, uh, like, I'm just doing something. Gotcha. I'm just letting I'm just you know doing... that, that is... Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I'm just doing the regular for now, so I don't end up killing myself. Fair enough. Uh, Lore. Lore is going to move ten feet to here. The doors swing north, right? The sure, yeah. Okay. Um, can I lock and bar them with my staff if necessary? I mean, close them and. Uh, Corb's the outside. Yeah. Join us. <laughs> He, he could he could wait out there a bit, <laughs> so that, so that if we get scared, we have one more obstacle in our way before we could run away. Is that yep. what you're? Yep. <laughs> All right, sure. Yes, Too many people ran door. away. As that is a, that is what Lore is doing. He is closing and barring the door. All right, Ronaling. I am going to attempt to tumble with my sh movement. That's a 23. Uh, what were you trying to do specifically? Oh, uh, to, to get uh, the 20 feet of um, I, yeah, I believe that's not provoking opportunity attacks. Yeah, I believe it's a 20 DC. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because if you're not trying to move through enemy spaces, then yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, 25 for enemy spaces. So... I get out of his space without provoking opportunity to ask. Get over here. I'm going to stab that blind boy. Okay. I believe he's flat-footed because of being blind. Uh, It's denied dex bonus to AC, so effectively. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. I forget that there is a distinction. Uh, a... a 23 to hit. 23 does hit. I I have too many dice in here, and I can't remember which one were my sneak attack and which ones weren't, so I'm just going to re-roll the whole thing. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, 20... Uh, 27, 29 points of piercing oh, damage. Oh, right. You do a pretty hefty amount of damage to the snake and it lets go of Finn's body that it was biting and eating. Uh, that's his turn. Alright, Jacques. Alright, this snake is about to get hit by the attacks of me. <laughs> Very, snake. Very eloquently put. <laughs> Um, Ooh, here comes the pain. A 27. Yes, it has an AC of 20, so a 27 hits. Fucking smack. Fucking smack him. Fifteen damage for the first attack. Oh, shit! Er, wait... Sorry, 16. I missed the plus one. Oh my god! Second He's still attack! Alive, uh, it, was a, it was an 18. It, it's, it, 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 uh, it's an 18 to hit. An 18 does miss just barely, though, as your holy whip just scratches against its iron hard scales. Yep. It's super That's hot. the turn. Finn! I'm gonna hit hammer. All right, hammer the snake. It's denied its dex bonus. It's blind. It's being stabbed. You've been healed. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if being stabbed made you easier to get stabbed? The 20 hits. I mean, that's how it works in real life. Yeah, exactly. I'm implementing a new rule where your armor class goes down by a number equal to the amount of damage you take. <sighs> oh. 
Uh, 16 hey, damage. The damage you take, what the fuck? <laughs> you start Delicious. playing old D&D rules with the smaller your a the smaller your AC number, the better? No. 16 damage, you say? Yeah. Any else things? No, because the second attack was a 9. Alright. Uh, five foot step or anything? Um, Ooh, at, mm, if I may, if you take a five foot step this turn, then on Siegfried's next turn, he can take a five foot step and get multiple attacks. Right. Just wanted to throw out the option. Uh, Gerard, you are scared of snakes. I just have to run, don't I? Correct. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, Let me count says, the spaces. One. You can only move one. Uh, one like you can only move up to the door and then take your action to remove the bar that Lore has put there. Oh, there's the bar. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then. This doesn't say when it happens, and I also skipped over it on accident last time. Would you give me another will save? You can't. It didn't matter. It's true, I it know. didn't matter. It mattered. I hope oh Will God. fucking dies. You only have plus eight to Will? I could have sworn I you had, like, well, whatever. You're yeah, no longer scared of snakes. Oh, fucking <laughs> snakes aren't scary. I you think it would have been. It could have been important. But, uh, you have... Like 15 feet away and then just... <laughs> you are still, and I quote, Suffering deep anxiety. Ah, uh, so you have a minus four to dexterity. Until you are no longer within 20 feet of a snake. I didn't realize anxiety was a, a dex debuff. I... Yeah. You know how you're anxious, so you have a dex debuff? Uh, the UNT is going... Well, they're all UNT. The snake is going... Well, they're all snakes. The... <laughs> Shut the I'm gonna right. <laughs> It's gonna attack the space that Finn was just in, so it doesn't matter because it misses because Finn's not there anymore. The half blood is gonna uh, drop its bow and pull out its sword and try and hit Jacques. That is a twelve. That does not hit. Siegfried. Yep, we're gonna take a five foot step. Doink. And we're gonna attempt to smack. Really cool that Travis planned that out. Yeah. Is this a good inverse of the joke where I steal your ideas, Travis? <laughs> Does a uh, 23 hit? 23 comfortably hits. Takes 20 damage. It is barely alive. And then for my second attack. Uh oh. I guess I could just do this. Does 20 hit? 20 exactly hits. Another 14 damage? Alright, you kill Jeez. the big snake. Jeez, Siegfried hits hard. He does. I try. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. So, lore. Is the door still closed? Or do I need to replace uh, it? It is, it is open, but Gerard does not look like he's good. Wow, I don't know what happened there. Gerard doesn't look like he's about to go through it anymore, and you see Core Blake with his hand on the knob. Okay. Uh, gonna try and shoot Core this guy with crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, crossbow with the U on T. Half yep. blood. Yep, that's, that's a not gonna hit. It does cool. have. Scales instead of skin. That's 13 to hit, so no. Um, <laughs> no. Laura's going to remain here. All right. Uh, Ronalig. It is time to return to the other snake boy. Snoy. Uh, and I'm going to try to tumble again. All right. DC 20. Mm -hmm. I rolled an 18. I'm still going right, to risk so... it, though. It still provokes opportunity attacks, so it's going uh -huh. to make one. It gets a natural 18, and it is using a scimitar, so that threatens a crit. Heck. So it is going to roll to confirm. That is a 25. That crits, so it's 2d8 plus twice. Double heck. 
Uh, nine plus four is thirteen slashing damage. Youch. Uh, but that is its opportunity attack. Uh, something is pinging me on Discord a lot, and I'm gonna burn it down. Oh, that might be me. That might you might just be hearing my Discord. No, I'm not. No, because I'm not hearing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just me, Riley. Right, message you to ask if you're gonna have anybody over. 15 to hit. <laughs> a 15 does not yeah. hit. I'm sorry. Uh, that's my go. I wouldn't give him my Discord. Jacques. Alright. Only because I think this is really funny, and also because I'm mad at these snake people. Uh, no, it wouldn't work. Hold on. They I must... cast turn snakes. These snakes probably have more than six hit dice, so not gonna do it. I'm just gonna attack twice. Oh, were you gonna hit cause fear? Yeah. It's fun, yeah. Cause I was just like, fuck you. Alright, well, <laughs> uh, I don't believe I hit with this one. Uh, fi uh, 16? No, but did you add the plus two for flanking? Ooh, that's 18? No. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Uh, and then you, second you, attack. Ha. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah, there's two attacks. Total of 21? That hit. Or, roll damage. 22, but it doesn't matter. Let's roll this damage. Make this snake boy get angry. Oh, boy. Uh. Oh. Uh, let's see how to... 13, 14 damage. 14 damage. All right, it hyper dies as the, the 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 holy light fills its horrid snake body and burns it away, leaving naught but a skeleton with cool fangs. Uh, and now I need to do a lot of math to determine how much XP you guys got, because that was three combats. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm call gonna... that a CR nine, a CR eight, and a CR seven. Or a CR9 and two CR8s. Yeah, he just and just collapses in the corner. I'm not I'm not doing too hot. Yes, yes, okay, so first XP, then Finn's poison. Uh I just did the math. 48, 36, 78, 84, 8400 XP. Divided amongst the all of you. Uh, how six. many? How many of us is it? Six. Fourteen hundred. Uh, yeah. Fourteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice little even split there. Uh, and then after one minute passes, Finn, I need you to make a Constitution fuck Fortitude saving throw. Unless anyone removes poison before that. <laughs> I I can't do anything like that. Uh, oh, here here's something I might be able to do. Nope, you wouldn't do it. I'm... All is, right. Is Siegfried capable of that? Does uh, Lay on Hands work that way in third edition? Uh, you know that's a good question. I do not believe so. I have some healing spells. I don't think I have any. No, you know what? Because it's so important, I can do this. I'll cast it. aid. Uh, I don't remember if it's a global thing or whatnot, but it doesn't last long enough anyway. I'll cast it to help. Uh, and they get a plus one. Oh, uh, then on say Gerard does have neutralized poison, but like that would do is, it. Is the poison really bad? Because it yes. is a third level spell. Okay, it's, really it bad. Is, it could kill Finn. Okay, yes. <laughs> it is it uh, very uh, nearly already killed Finn. It's removing his constitution. <laughs> oh, it's that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it is yeah. making uh, you worse at surviving the own poison. Each time you get hit with this poison, you have a higher chance of getting hit with the poison again. Okay, so yeah, um, Gerard's gonna use neutralized poison on your boyfriend. All right. I do not know if that cures the existing con damage, but he will not take any more. Um. Any temporary effects are ended. Is okay, that... and it's temporary con damage, so yeah. Finn is returned to his natural state of 14 constitutions. Just like the Confederacy. 
Oh, way down south in the land of traders, rattlesnakes and alligators right away. Oh, where's... Oh, where's... Oh, where's... Oh, where's... Right away. Okay. Oh, the, um, hmm. We're... The next room is the boss, and it's 948. <laughs> this is the problem. The... I will remind you guys. There that might it was, just be like, a whole other layer. There was the ziggurat, and then there was like a big hill encased by this, a wall around the ziggurat. Ziggurat and that is where the storm was originating from. And this uh, staircase seems to be going down further. The Zuckerrat. Just Mark Zuckerrat. Yeah, Mark Zuckerrat. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, way down south. South in the land of traders. Addle snakes and battle gators far away. Battle gators is my next adventure. <laughs> You guys just give me so much material. I sure do. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Gave you material. Are you are you trying to say that it isn't a secret war of rat men and snake are men? Are you telling me the campaign isn't 100% written already? I'm For telling shame. you that, I'm telling you that you guys made gave me the idea to make murder an enemy. That's true. <laughs> so what would you guys like to do? Uh, Dude. if you go- if you walk into the boss room, we'll just end the session, but also it is ten, so we might just end the session regardless of the nature of whatever room you walk into. This might be Are a good place to take rooms? a short rest and maybe... No oh. short rests in this yeah, edition, my boy, we gotta use the well, We can- we can still, like, take a few minutes to recuperate. Yeah, like, uh, cast some- yeah. I do have a wand of cure moderate wounds. That's good. With 18 charges left. Do you have any moderate wounds you would like to cure? Cured. I'm, I'm fine. Does I anyone, do. Does anyone need healing? Yes. I may need some healing. I know Finn may need it more than most. Well, I'm, okay. I'm still pretty so, tanky and all, but I don't want to. Moderate wounds is 2d8, right? Uh, yes. Okay, 2d8 plus caster level, and this is a CL7. Um, so one charge to Pat, just to start off with, uh, that is eight plus seven, so 15 points of healing. That's not bad. In fact, one could say it's good. <laughs> um, does Finn need more? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one charge to Finn. And I will... Before next session, try and make it so that you can all see every each other's health bars. Um, I might just have to overhaul all the tokens well, and everything. I can I can see everyone but Finn and Ronalig, and that might just be oh, they're... that's because they're clipping into the walls. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Finn gets twenty one. Ronalig, do you need you need healing, right? Uh, I have my own wand of cure light wounds that I'll pump okay. into myself before next session. Um. Gerard could probably use another one. If you'd want. I'll probably be okay either way. Uh, that's... 13 points of healing. Uh, Siegfried need any, or is Siegfried good? Uh, yeah, I could take at least one one charge. How much you down? Uh, so I'm at 55 of 75. Oh, your token is not showing the right... It says you have a max of 40. I know, I don't know why, and I don't know how to fix that. Uh, well, I rolled pretty good. Uh, 21 points of healing. Perfect. There you um, are. I think I'd prefer to use light wounds options for other stuff, because I don't actually... This wand is not infinite. Yes! Did I get... Oh, yes. Yep. I I'm at... I'm at 62 to 79. Give him seven hit points and no more. Um, sorry, I cannot do that. Uh, 15, um, 15 points of healing.
It looks like uh, Jacques could use some healing. Don't know if anyone's... No, 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 no. I don't have... Like, my max HP isn't that much higher. It's fine. Alright. Ah. Uh, care ye to soldier on. I think we'll probably be just entering the boss room. Yeah, that's my... That's, that's what I was thinking. You will be entering another room. So I'd no. like to enter the room that doesn't have any snakes. Oh, all right. So you're gonna leave the ziggurat <laughs> and walk and get struck by lightning. <laughs> Our work here is done. <laughs> yeah, one of these snakes has to be the snake lord. We'll just start stomping. The snake lord is not even magic. It's just a snake with a crown, and it's like a normal sized crown, so it doesn't even fit it because it's a snake. Brown serpent. But yeah, I think that's I think that's a good stopping point. We'll go up to the next layer of the ziggurat. Yeah. Down to the next layer of the ziggurat. Down. Down. Uh-oh. Down the stairs and next is the ziggurat. Oh boy. I'm really hoping it's just one big chamber. Because otherwise we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of exploring again. Yeah, how dare how dare you need to go through a dungeon? Oh. What are you talking the about? The, the exploring part means we typically end up running into people, so Lore is hoping for one yeah. big chamber. Yeah, because that's happened before. Yep. Definitely has. Let me just paste you onto the next layer. How much XP do we get for all the stuff? Yes, Riley. It was 1,400 was... each. It's 1,400. Yes, Riley, use the DM. I'd like you to start removing challenges. Yeah, if... uh, yeah. You guys all hit level 20 and then kill Zathyrus and then uh, <laughs> blow jobs forever. You're welcome. Ah! Uh, uh, it's over. <laughs> uh, you guys presumably descend that staircase, if I'm correct. Yeah, we're moving yeah, down that staircase. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me no, know. No, no, no. Uh, you climb down the stairs and the the air cools drastically from what it was above ground the temperature drops and you feel the humidity go up a bit uh the style of flagstone shifts and it seems to be a good bit newer and you find yourselves in this weird fucking room uh with one door in a south wall and a hallway to the east with a door in the south of it as well and before we go exploring, that is where we will call L session. Quick Q. Uh, huh, quick A. Is it still full of snakes? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Is it more That's full of snakes than the upper floor was? Significantly. Is there any rat paraphernalia? Uh, not that it hasn't been eaten by snakes. So there is. <laughs> I, I'm tempted to say that it is, in fact, a difficult terrain everywhere because of all of the snakes. I start cutting into snakes to find the rat paraphernalia. All right, the snakes uh, cut back. Ah, fuck. Broadly, yeah. man, time to fireball. A billion snakes. <laughs> Why do all these snakes have knives? <laughs> Why did you think, fight, like, cutting up snakes in the ziggurat with a quintillion fucking snakes was a good idea? I just started imagining, <laughs> like... Snakes. Like a normal little snake on the ground, but it's just got like two buff, little, little tiny buff human arms and a dagger. It's a baby Bro, Yuan T. Exactly you what it, what understand aggro, you fool! <laughs> you, you roll one of those random Yuan T, and it ends up with the body of a snake, legs of a snake, head of a snake, but human Leg arms. 